Oh man, guys, I love eating Lunchables. Me too. Look at these little wieners. Can you imagine having a little wiener? <laughs> I sure can't. Guys, check out my pizzas. That looks disgusting, Joseph. I'd rather have a pizza than a wiener in my mouth. Have you even had a wiener in your mouth? No, and I don't plan on it. Guys, I can't open up my Lunchable. Well, get some scissors. Chef Baby, can you bring me some scissors? <sighs> what do you need scissors for, you stupid brat? I can't open up my Lunchable. Oh my God, you're so weak. You're the weakest kid I've ever met, Junior. Well, then let me see you open it. <laughs> I can open it without scissors. Watch. I just gotta get my fingers on it. You said you could open it. I, I, I can open it, okay? Just leave me alone. I just, just, just gotta bite it. You know what? Just gotta use your, your wisdom teeth. There we go. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I'm a boss. Woo! All you did was open a Lunchable. What the news? Breaking news, MK. Tom Brady, seven-time Super Bowl champion, is retiring from football. Sad day for all of us. What? Tom Brady's retiring? Oh no, this can't be happening. This is a bad dream. It's a bad dream. No, he can't retire. Calm down, Chef. He's just a football player. No, he's not just a football player. He's God. He's the GOAT. Bad. <laughs> well, he played long enough, Chef Pee Pee. No! He didn't play long enough! He's supposed to play till he's 90! My life's over! <laughs> Junior, Chef Pee Pee looks really upset. We should go check on him. This can't be happening! This can't be happening! <laughs> I'm depressed! I mean, all the bread I can find! Oh no, guys, he's eating white bread. Oh, he must be really sad. <laughs> You can have! You don't, you don't play football anymore! So here, get the bread! Eat the bread, Tom! Oh, he's yelling at the Tom Brady book. Oh, come on, Chef Pee Pee, the carbs! <laughs> this isn't part of the TB12 method! The TB12 method is dead, Cody! <laughs> Just like Tom! <laughs> well, Chef Pee Pee, that Tom Brady can come back in a few years! No, he can't! You saw the news! I know you saw the news! Yeah, you saw the news! He's dead! It's over! It's complete! <laughs> We should call a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Tom, no! Poor guy. Is he gonna be okay, doctor? Well, we have him in a straitjacket in a padded room so he can't hurt himself. What's going on? Well, it looks like he's having some kind of mental breakdown. Do you know what could have happened? Well, we were watching TV and then he found out Tom Brady retired. What? Tom Brady retired? Yeah. No, God, no, not Tom! He can't retire! He's not supposed to retire until he was like 90! I know, right? Oh, God, this is the worst news ever! I'd rather lose my wife than Tom Brady! God, no! He's the ghost! He's the ghost! The best! Oh, God, no, please, no! <laughs> Is Chef Pee Pee gonna be okay? I don't know, guys. I've never seen him this sad before. Well, Tom Brady was his idol, dude. Well, it's not like we can do anything. I mean, it's not like we can stop Tom Brady from retiring. That's it, Cody. We have to stop Tom Brady from retiring. I just said we can't do that. Sure we can. Okay, how? We'll just pay him to keep playing. Oh, yeah, he loves money, dude. Guys, Tom Brady usually makes about $20 million a year. Well, we'll just save up $20 million and give it to him. Well, how are we going to save up $20 million? We'll just wash cars and look in the couch cushions. I don't think you're going to have $20 million in the couch cushions. And besides, the problem wasn't that they weren't paying him enough. The problem was that he just didn't want to play anymore. Well, if we give him an offer he can't refuse, he'll keep playing. What if we offer him one billion dollars. A billion dollars? He'll definitely play for like 10 years, dude. Well, I don't doubt that, but where are we going to get a billion dollars? Okay, how about we just empty our pockets, add up all our money, and maybe see how much money we have. We're not going to have anywhere near a billion dollars. I don't know, Cody. We might surprise you. I I'd, I'd be very surprised if we had a billion dollars. All right, uh, everyone empty your pockets. Well, would you look at that, Cody. What, seven dollars and fifty cents? Uh, 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 seven dollars and seventy-five cents. Oh, wow. If this doesn't get him to keep playing, I don't know what will. Exactly. I was being sarcastic, Junior. Tom Brady shits this. No, he doesn't. He eats nothing but avocados. He doesn't poop money. No, Junior, my point is seven dollars is nothing to Tom Brady. Well, don't say that. What if he's bankrupt one day and he really needs his money? I think he's going to be just fine. Unless he's addicted to putting money in a paper shredder. Well, that's an even better reason for me not to give him my seven dollars. <sighs> okay, fine. Well, think of another way to get him not to retire. <gasps> I got it. 
what if we kidnap Tom Brady? Whoa! No, 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 hear me out. We kidnap him and we say, we'll only let you go if you keep playing. Well, when we let him go to play, he's just gonna run away and never come back. No, he'll run away onto the football field and get touchdowns. And then he'll never come back. No, we'll make him pinky promise to not run away. Junior, these are terrible ideas. Come up with another one that isn't illegal. <sighs> okay. <gasps> okay, what if we call him and we ask him nicely not to retire? How are you gonna get Tom Brady's number? Um, we'll call his agent. How are you gonna get his agent's number? We'll call the agent's wife. How are you gonna get the agent's wife's number? Facebook. Oh, that might work. Okay. All right, guys, I'm calling her. Hello? Hey, is this Tom Brady's agent's wife? Uh, yes, it is. Who is this? Let me talk to your husband. Oh, okay. Uh, honey, it's for you. Who is it, honey? Hello? Hey, are you Tom Brady's agent? I sure am. Why are you calling my wife? Well, I want to offer Tom Brady a billion dollar offer. A billion dollars? Okay, I'll put Tom on the call. Hello? Tom, oh, we've got a billion dollar deal for you. A billion dollars? Okay, let's hear it. Uh... Hi, Tom. Hi, I'm Tom Brady. Yeah, you are. Um, I'm from Billion Dollar Book Publishing Millionaires, Inc. Incorporated. Oh, yeah, I've heard of you guys. Uh, oh, well, we want to offer you $7.75. Uh, uh, so far, it, it'll be more later. Uh, to keep playing. Hello? Hello? Ugh, the call dropped. I think he hung up on you when he heard how much you were really going to offer. Oh, no. Oh, God. What are we gonna do? I think we just need to accept that Tom Brady's done with football. Yeah. I guess you're right, Cody. It was stupid to try to get him to come back. Boys, boys, you gotta come quick. It's not looking good. What? What's wrong, doctor? Well, uh, I don't know how to say this, but your friend here is, um, dying. Dying? Not Chef BB. Who's gonna cook for us? Why is he dying? Well, I don't really know. He's just completely lost the will to live. It's called broken heart syndrome. But what can we do to help him? Well, maybe if Tom Brady decided not to retire. I mean, I tried telling him that he could still watch Aaron Rodgers play, but then he just woke up for a brief second to say, I'd rather die, and then he went back into his coma. Oh, poor Chef BB. We're here for you. Guys, we have to stop Tom Brady from retiring. Pff, good luck with that. That's impossible. Nothing's impossible for a possible. What? It's from Kim Possible. Oh, I'm not familiar with the show. Come on, guys! Guys! Chef BB's dying! But guys, there's nothing else we can do. I'm surprised we even managed to get on the phone with Tom Brady. But I don't want Chef BB to die. There has to be something we can do that makes Tom Brady not retire. <gasps> I just thought of something so crazy it just might work. What, dude? Oh, God, what is it? We break into Tom Brady's house. No! You didn't let me finish. We break into Tom Brady's house. We steal one of his Super Bowl rings. And then when he knows the ring's missing, he's like, I gotta go win another one to replace it. And he goes and wins another Super Bowl. No, I'll tell you what he's gonna do. He's gonna call the police, and then we're gonna go to jail, and he's still not gonna be playing football. Well, no, no, no. He's not gonna be happy knowing he's missing a ring. So he's like, I gotta go play one more season to win a ring. But winning another ring isn't going to replace the ring we stole. Okay, fine. We'll steal the ring, and then we'll send him a ransom note saying, you only get this ring back if you go back and win the Super Bowl. Okay, let me see if I have this right. We're gonna break into Tom Brady's house, which is burglary. We're gonna steal one of his Super Bowl rings, which is theft. And then we're gonna send him a ransom note, which is extortion, I think. And then even after all of that, he has to play a full season of football and win a Super Bowl? Exactly. It's gonna work. It's gonna bring Sheppy back to life. Everyone's gonna be happy. And then Tom Brady's gonna have eight rings, and he's gonna be the Super Goat. Wouldn't be so crazy, it might work. Uh -huh. but no, it's not gonna work, and we're gonna go to jail. No, some guy stole his jersey after he won a Super Bowl, and that guy didn't go to jail. Wait, really? Yeah, Tom Brady doesn't press charges. Huh. Well, you might be onto something. Alright, let's go break into Tom Brady's house and steal uh, multiple Super Bowl rings. Because the more we steal, the more seasons he'll play to win those rings back. Ooh, let's do it, dude. Alright, guys, we're at Tom Brady's house. How are we gonna break in, Junior? I don't know. Let's see if the door's unlocked. Oh, wow, he leaves the door unlocked? Rich people don't care, huh? Go, go, let's go, let's go. Alright, guys, let's check the kitchen. They're not gonna be in the kitchen, Junior. You never know. Huh. Wait. No, not here. Oh, God, I found three of them! What, he keeps his Super Bowl rings next to the forks? I'll put them by the bowls, personally. Oh, come on, let me grab them, let me grab these three. All right, guys, we got them. That was incredibly easy. I told you, Cody, now all we have to do is write a ransom note to Tom Brady saying, if you ever want to see your Super Bowl rings again, you have to keep playing. Okay. Write it. With me? I don't want them tracing my handwriting back to me. Hey, Cody, they can't trace your handwriting. Yes, they can. Then write it with your left hand. <sighs> Oh, okay, fine. What do you want it to say? Say, uh, Tom Brady, if you ever want to see your Super Bowl rings again, you have to keep playing. <sighs> All right. Come on, hurry. Okay, Junior has that. Oh my God, Cody, it's perfect. Why so sloppy, dude? I wrote it with my left hand. I think it's perfect, Cody. Okay, great. So how do we get the letter to him? Um, we break back into his house and we leave the letter. Oh, come on. Why didn't we just leave it when we were there before? We didn't have any paper, Cody. Come on, grab it. <sighs> 
Okay, we left the note. Let's get out of here. Should I lock the door? What? No, it was unlocked when we got here. That'll be suspicious. Come on. Yeah, do think. All right, guys, the mission is complete. Well, now we just have to wait for Tom Brady to notice, and then he'll call the cops. There's the news! Breaking news, MK! Three of Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings have been stolen. And there's a ransom note that was left at the scene, and the police are investigating now. Oh no, we're gonna go to jail! I'll never see my family again! I'll never get into college! My whole life is gonna be- Ow! Shut up, Cody! We wanted this to happen! It's part of the plan! And plus, they don't even know it's us. I think they know it's us, dude. Oh, let me do the talking. Hello? Hey, kid. Oh, the cops. What are you doing here? Well, Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings got stolen. What? Yeah, it's crazy, right? And whoever did it left behind this note that says that he has to play football again if he ever wants him back. And your friend is in the hospital because he retired, so that makes you suspect number one. Well, I didn't do it. All right, I'll see about that. <laughs> Come on, just let me do it. No, dude, that's gross. Guys, the cops are here. Wait, there's the rings. Wait, you didn't hide the rings? No, Cody wanted me to hide them up his butt. I could have fit all three in there. There. Hell, I could have done all seven. You told me you didn't have the rings. Look, we, we just took the rings because we don't want Tom Brady to retire because Chef Pee-Pee's dying. All right, well, you guys are lucky that Tom Brady doesn't press charges. You all be in big trouble. I'm just going to take these back to him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Chef Pee-Pee. We tried so hard to get Tom Brady not to retire, and now you're going to die. Hey, everybody. There's a guest here who wants to talk to you. Who? Hey, I'm Tom Brady. Tom Brady, what are you doing here? Well, I heard what you did for your friend, you know, stealing my Super Bowl rings, and I thought that was just the nicest gosh darn thing anyone's ever done. So I came to talk to your friend. Please talk to him. Maybe you'll bring him back to life. Okay, what's his name? Um, Chef Pee Pee. Hey there, Mr. Pee Pee. Uh huh? Tom? Tom Brady? <gasps> yep, that's me. Seven time Super Bowl winner, Tom Brady. Wait, what are you doing? Well, I just want to let you know that just because I'm retiring doesn't mean I'm retiring from your heart and all the good memories I made for you. You're right, Tom. Just because you're retiring doesn't mean you're dead. That's right. Now pucker up. Wait, what? <laughs> there you go. Oh my god! I just got kissed by Tom Brady! I feel like his son! Uh, can I have a taste? Oh, sure! <laughs> Hey Marvin, your phone's ringing. I know, I can hear it, it's right next to me. Okay, fine. Hello? Uh, hello, this is Jackie Chu, Jeffy's teacher. I was calling to tell you that Jeffy gonna be getting her report card today, just in case he doesn't show you. All right, thank you for warning me. Who was that, Marvin? It was Jeffy's teacher, let me know he's getting his report card today. Ooh. Ah, Daddy, help me! I was playing on my shirt and it started eating me! It was not eating you, Jeffy. Ah! <laughs> it was just stuck. All right, thanks, Danny, from saving me from the big bad shirt monster. Well, look, Jeffy, your teacher just called me and let me know you're getting your report card today. So don't try to throw it away or anything. You have to show me. Okay, Danny. Well, there's not going to be any bad grades on it because I'm the smartest boy ever. Well, look, if there's a single F on that report card, your life's over. You're grounded for a year. Okay, Danny, but there's not going to be any Fs on it. Well, look, get to school. Get your butt to school. Oh, just my butt. All right, can you help me take it off? Well, no, get your whole body. Just get, go to school. All right, Danny. <sighs> All right, Crass, today, before we get started, I'm going to hand out your report cards. Here you go, Penelope. Here's your report card. All A's, yes! Junior, here's your report card. Only one F? That's a new record. And Joseph, here's your report card. Oh, dude, I finally did it! All F's. You know how hard it is to do that? Wow, Joseph, that's very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. And Cody, here's your report card. All A's. I knew it. You know, sometimes I get tired of being so smart. Maybe you should get all F's like me. <laughs> I'm good. All right, Bori, here's your report card. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna be a trash man like my dad anyway. And Jeffy, here's your report card. Oh, oh no, all Fs. My daddy's gonna kill me. Oh, oh. Guys, guys, I got all Fs on my report card. High five. No, because my daddy told me he was gonna kill me if I got a single F. Well, I don't have parents, so. Well, Jeffy, why don't you just take Cody's report card home and say it's yours? But no, that's not gonna work because my report card has my name on it. And besides, I save all my report cards because I want to get into a good college someday. Oh, and my mom gives me Zerberts on my belly for every A I get. What's a Zerbert? It's where she blows on my tummy and I'm super ticklish. God, I hate you, Cody. But guys, for real, my daddy said he's gonna kill me if I get an F on my report card. That's it, Jeffy. Why don't we fake your death? Why don't we call your dad and say you died at school today and he'll never see you ever again? But no, Junior, that's a terrible idea. Doesn't that seem kind of extreme just to avoid getting punished? Well, my daddy said he's gonna kill me anyway, so we might as well do it. Okay, I'll grab my phone. All right, All right guys, it's ringing. Aren't they just gonna look at the caller ID and see who it is? I blocked my number, Cody. Shut up. <sighs> Baby, can you answer the phone? Sure, Marvin. 
Hello? Hey, I mean, hey, this is Officer Tells Bad News Johnson. I'm calling to inform you that your son Jeffy died today at school. What? I know, you seem very upset. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. What happened? Well, um, Jeffy and another student were playing tag during recess, and Jeffy fell into a pile of ants. And then a plane crashed, only killing your son. The ants are fine, though. They're fire ants. They were normal ants until the fire from the plane explosion turned them into fire ants. But uh, he's dead. Oh my god, is it gonna be on the news? Uh, no, it won't be on the news because the owner of the news, Sir Isaac Newsten, was the one flying the plane. And he didn't have his pilot's license, so he crashed his plane. And that will make the news have a bad name. So we just don't want anyone to know about it. Yeah, so he's dead, so you'll never see him again. I'm so sorry, bye. All right, guys, they totally believed it. Sir Isaac Newston. Who do you think invented the news, Cody? I don't know. Sounds believable to me. Thanks, Joseph. So my parents really think I'm dead? Yep, they think you're dead, so you don't have to go home and show them your report card. Sweet. But wait, where is Jeffy going to live? Because he can't go home. Oh, you're right. Jeffy doesn't have a place to live. Hey, Cody, can you stay with you for a while? But me? I don't want him living with me. But it's your fault that we had to do that whole phone call thing. Well, how is this my fault? I told you it was a bad idea. Because you wouldn't let us borrow your report card. Well, I would have rather you taken my report card than have him live with me. Well, look, it's your fault, so now you have to let him live with you. But why can't he live with Joseph? Dude, I live in a cardboard box. <sighs> okay, fine. He can stay with me for one night. Come on, Jeffy. <laughs> what? Baby, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Jeffy, no! What? What, say it without crying. Jeffy died. What? Well, why are you so calm? You told me to calm down. Well, but how did Jeffy die? What did they say? It was a plane crash. It fired. Well, a plane crash. A plane crash. Really? That sounds like a prank call. Let's call the real cops and see if it's true. Okay. Hey there. Somebody call the cops. Oh uh, yes, officer. We got a call from another officer saying our son died today. Oh well, who is the officer that called you? Officer tells bad news, Johnson. Really? Officer tells bad news Johnson? No, that's just ridiculous. Officer tells bad news Johnson retired 20 years ago. This is probably a prank call. A prank call? Baby, what else did the call say? Well, there was a plane crash, and the guy flying it was Sir Isaac Newston. Sir Isaac Newston? Now, that name's just silly. Yeah, this is definitely a prank call. Well, why would somebody want to fake our son's death? Well, did your son have something big coming up that maybe he was trying to get out of? Well, he was getting his report card today. Yeah, I bet that's it. I bet he got a bad grade, and he faked his death to get out of it. Why would Jeffy do this? Because he didn't want to get grounded. Thank you for helping us, officer. Okay. Yeah, I just, um, guess I'll take off. Just, uh, just leave. Honestly, I really don't want to go. Well, you don't have to leave. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. What about our son? He'll probably come home, baby. He has nowhere else to go. <gasps> yeah, so, um, what do you guys want to do? I, I mean, there's nothing to do. Find our son. Hey, you want to play slap hands? What's that? Well, try to slap my hand. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you, loser! <laughs> well, you try to slap my hand. Okay. <laughs> Easy, loser. Oh, no, 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 let me try again. Okay. Nope. Nope. Marvin. Nope. Nope. Marvin. Nope. Marvin! What? Call me Jeffy! Well, I gotta try to slap his hand. Nope. 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 Uh, ow, okay, that's it. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. Ow, 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 ow. Uncle, uncle, get off me. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, you can only stay here one night and then you have to go. Okay. Now, look, my parents are a little weird, so just ignore them. All right. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Now, would you look what the cat drugged in? Hey, Dad. Ooh, Cody, who's your sexy friend? Meow. Hey, woman, keep your eyes on me. I'm the only one that can cheat in this house. Yes, Daddy. Well, guys, this is my friend Jeffy. His parents kicked him out, and he needs a place to stay, so can he spend the night? If his parents don't want him, what make you think we do? Now, Tyrone, that's not how we treat our guests. So what's wrong with you? You some kind of junkie or something? You gonna hurt our little Cody? Yeah, what you got? What you holding, huh? Huh? No, no, no guys, he, he's not a junkie. He just needs a place to stay, so can he spend the night? I guess so, Cody, but I don't want to hear any of that loud rap music after midnight. Yeah, this is a jazz household. We don't like that rap music. <laughs> oh, and Cody, dinner's gonna be ready in a few minutes. We're having pierogies and party pizza. Ooh, pierogies? Oh, we feasting tonight, baby. So you and your friend go wash your hands and feet. Okay, Jeffy, welcome to my room. What, Ken, cover yourself up, you dirty, dirty boy. We have company. Sorry about that, Jeffy. Ken just doesn't know how to act around company. I think he needs a spanking. Hear that, Ken? I'm gonna spank your little plastic tush. Boy, you little weird old dinner's ready. God. Come on, Jeffy. 
Boy, will you hurry up? I'm hungry! I'm here, Dad. Wait, wait, where's Jeffy's food? Oh, Cody, your friend's not eating at the table with us. Yeah, his plate over there in the corner on the floor. Wait, why? Well, we don't know where he's been. He might have rabies. Yeah, he like a stray dog. Well, I go to school with him. He doesn't have rabies. Cody, don't argue with me. I'll smack you. Uh, okay, I, I'm sorry, Jeffy. You have to get on the floor. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Don't touch that food we haven't said grace yet. All right, everybody bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for this delicious food. And thank you for not letting any of my side chicks get pregnant. Oh, thank God for that. Mm-hmm. Thank you for good health and a short refractory period. Amen. Amen. That's just a beautiful prayer, honey. That's how prayer should be, straight from the heart. Mm-hmm. I meant that. Okay, Cody, eat your food. Wait, Mom, what is this? It's a pierogi. Eat it. You're going to grow up big and strong. Yeah. Big boys got to eat their pierogies. Oh, I hate eating off the floor. So, boy, how was school today? Yeah, Cody, did you learn a lot of new stuff? Well, we got our report cards. Oh, my God, Tyrone got all A's. Great googly moogly. You know what that means. Zerber time. Oh, um, I'm done. Hey, 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 shut the hell up. It's Zerber time, boy. It's Zerber time. Let's go to the bedroom. <laughs> okay, Cody, let me see that belly. But my looks so ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> nah, baby, give me some Zerbers. I need some. <laughs> I love Zerbers. Ooh, mom, one more, one more. Uh oh, give me some more, baby. Give me some. <laughs> <laughs> come on, mom, come on, do another one. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Come on, baby. Yeah, I need some. Ooh, <laughs> so ticklish. Oh, I want to go back home. All right, Marvin, your turn. Hmm. Oh, you're so done. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you did not just do that. You just lost. Check it out. Oh. Connect four, I win. I, I, did, I mean to put it right there. <laughs> you suck. I wish my wife sucked as much as you. She's really good at connect four. She beats me every time. We're playing again. Can we please go find Jeffy? Baby, look. Jeffy faked his death. He has nowhere else to go. Eventually, he has to come home. Oh, hey, you know what would be funny? Whenever your son comes home, you should pretend you can't see him like he's a ghost, you know, because he's dead. That'd be so funny. That's so mean. That's what we're going to do, baby. Whenever Jeffy gets here, we're going to not talk to him. We're going to act like he doesn't exist. That must be Jeffy. Oh, wait, look, let's answer the door and act like we can't see him. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey, Danny. I'm sorry I faked my own death. Baby, there's no one at the door. Do you see anybody? I sure don't, Marvin. Daddy, I'm right here! <sighs> Must have been a prank. Some kid rang the doorbell and ran away. I guess so. Why can't you see me? I'm right here! <sighs> I wish Jeffy didn't die. Me either, Marvin. I didn't die! I'm right here! Let's go upstairs, baby. Okay. Daddy, daddy, daddy! Who's at the door? Is that your son? Yeah, play along. Okay. Danny, I'm right here! I miss Jeffy. I miss him too, baby. <laughs> I'm right here! Hey, I know you're going through a lot with your son dying and all, but I'm ready for the funeral. We're ready for the funeral too. Funeral? We don't need a funeral because I'm alive! I'm right here! Okay, here's his tombstone. Oh, oh the no. tombstone. And here's his body. Oh, no. not his body. Oh, no. That's oh, no. not my body. I'm alive! I'm right here, oh. Danny! I'm right here! I can feel his soul trying to contact me. Okay, you ready to start the ceremony? Yes. All right, we're gathered here today to be sad about the death of Jeffy, who was taken away from us too soon. We don't usually question God's plan, but today we ask, why, God? Why did you take this young man away from us in such a tragic and comedic way? Why? I curse you, God! Amen. Would anyone else like to say a few words for Jeffy? I would. Jeffy, if you could hear me right now, we love you. We wish we could hear your voice one more time. I'm right here! Here's my voice! Ah, 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 ah! I love it! I love it! Okay, all right, all right, settle down. <laughs> Calm down. That, that's, that's enough of that. Uh, let, let, let's just have a moment of silence for Jeffy. I pooted. You folks have a nice day. I'm right here! I'm right here in front of you! Wait a minute, I, I think I hear Jeffy from the great beyond. What, you do? I think so. Jeffy, are you there? Yes, I'm right here, right in front of your face! Oh, I, I, I can hear you, Jeffy, but I'm the only one. Is there anything you'd like for me to tell your parents? Yes, tell my mommy and daddy that I'm sorry I faked my own death. Okay, he says that he's not sorry and he would do it all again. What? what no, I I'm right here! Look, we can see you, okay? What? Jeffy? What? Daddy, you can see me? Oh, Jeffy, you're back! Oh, oh I'm so sorry, Daddy! daddy. I'm oh, so daddy. sorry! I'm so sorry I faked my own death! I just didn't want you to see my report card! What? Why wouldn't you want us to see your report card, Jeffy? Why don't you go get it? Oh, okay. 
All right, Daddy, here's my report card. All Fs, Jimmy! Well, I tried my hardest! No, you didn't. You did not try at all. These are all Fs. We're going to need another funeral after I'm done with him. Well, funerals aren't cheap. <laughs> Good to see you can beat someone at something. You know, because he sucks at Connect Four and slap hands. You want to play? Slap my hand. Okay. Ha! You suck! Are you ready to eat our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Dude, you know I love my PB and J's! Jesus, Joseph, leave some peanut butter and jelly for the rest of the world. No, it's all for me! Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> the only thing I like about PB and J is the BJ part. What, the butter and jelly? Uh, you missed the point of the joke, but sure. All right, look, let's just eat our peanut butter and jellies. Joseph looks like he's almost done on it. <laughs> it's mine! <laughs> okay. I don't know what part of mine I should eat. Just eat the whole sandwich, dude! God! Well, guys, this tastes kind of weird. Well, what, are you, what are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. I, just, I don't really feel good. Uh, you know, my throat's closing up. <coughs> guys, I can't breathe! You should have gotten vaccinated. I did! There's nothing wrong with the sandwich! There's nothing wrong with the sandwich. It's just peanut butter and jelly, Cody. Stop acting ridiculous. Hey, uh, guys, help me! Uh, Cody, how's your sandwich? I mean, Joseph, how's your sandwich? Oh, it's delicious! Oh, can I get another one, dude? Yeah, let's go make another one. Uh, guys, help! Holy shit! Why do you look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Something's wrong, I can't breathe. Oh, dude, uh, we should call a doctor or something. Or we should call Santa because he's missing one of his reindeer. <laughs> dude, you're hilarious. Cody, stop acting ridiculous. <laughs> look, we're going upstairs, come on. Come on, Rudolph. All right, Cody, just lay right here and watch TV until you feel better. I need a doctor, please. A Dr. Pepper? No. Joseph, get him a Dr. Pepper. All right, I'm on it, dude. I got you a Dr. Pepper. You need to cut the dark sodas out. It's not good for you. No, I need a Dr. Seuss. A Dr. Seuss book? No. Joseph, get him a Dr. Seuss book. Oh, Dr. Seuss. Oh, yeah. Dr. Seuss is good for you. I got the cat in the hat. It's my fave. Uh, no, I need a doctor to make me feel better. Dr. Uh, Dr. Phil? Go print out a picture of Dr. Phil. All right, I'm on it, dude. Why would All right, you the doctor's right here. Here's Dr. Phil. No, I need a medical doctor. Dr. Phil is a medical doctor. Joseph, Google his degree. All right, dude, I'm on it. All right, it says right here he went to Midwestern State University in 1975. What? Then he went to University of North Texas in 1979. I don't care. Then he went to the University of Tulsa. But it doesn't say when, but he went. Yeah, so Dr. Phil is a medical doctor, so say sorry to him. Uh, no, call me a doctor. Call you a doctor? If you don't consider Dr. Phil a doctor, why would we call you a doctor? I would not get a checkup by you, dude. Call a doctor on the phone. Oh, he needs us to call him a doctor. He could have just said that. Yeah, yeah, let me go call him. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Ew, is that Dr. Phil? Get him out of here. I refuse to work in front of Dr. Phil. He reminds me of my creepy uncle and I don't like him. Okay. Wait, is that a Dr. Pepper? Get that out of here too. Dr. Pepper gives doctors a bad name. Yeah, get a Mr. Pibb instead. He knows his place. Wait, is that the cat in the hat? I hate cats, especially when they wear hats. It's unnatural. Get that out of here. <sighs> All right, what's up? Well, my friend was eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and then he started acting like a drama queen. Oh, no. It looks like he's having some kind of allergic reaction. A what -y what what An allergic reaction? I think he was probably allergic to the peanut butter. You can be allergic to peanut butter? Yeah, he probably just has a nut allergy. Look, you just stab him with this EpiPen. That'll cure him right up. Yeah! <sighs> oh, thank God. Doctor, what happened? Well, I think you're probably just allergic to nuts. What? Allergic to nuts? No, I can't be allergic to nuts. I love nuts. I love nuts in my mouth. I love all kinds of nuts. I love big nuts, small nuts, round nuts, crunchy nuts, these nuts. Got him! Well, even, even his last name has nuts. His last name is Nut Kiss. Yeah, and he likes dudes. It's impossible for him to stay away from nuts. I'm sorry, kid. You're just gonna have to stay away from nuts from now on if you don't want to die. Stay away from nuts? No! <laughs> He's so ugly when he cries. He's hideous, dude. <laughs> it's not that serious, Cody. Yes, it is, Junior. I'm allergic to nuts. That's my whole thing. I love nuts. Everybody knows how much I love nuts. God, we get it. You're so gay. Shut up. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Cody, you can just like something else now. What, my girls? Ew. I'll just lay here and be sad forever. Well, I'm hungry, dude. I'm eating some M&M's. Oh, can I have an M&M? Oh, sure, buddy. Hey, Cody, do you want m m What kind are they? Uh, it's chocolate, dude. Okay. Ah, here you go, buddy. <coughs> Wait, what kind of M&M's are these? Uh, it's chocolate, but it says peanut on the bag? <coughs> <coughs> you can't have 
have nuts. No, I forgot. Oh, uh, Cody, what do you need? The pen. He needs a pen. Oh, oh I can I can get a pen, dude. He wants to write down what's wrong. Okay. Uh, here you go, buddy. Here's a pen. Not that pen. He doesn't want that pen. Why? Cause it's brown, huh? You wanted to drink from a separate water fountain, huh? No, no, happy pen. A uh, safety pen. Oh, safety pen. He needs a safety pen. You said that, dude. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> Here's the safety pen, buddy. No, the pen, you imbecile. Uh, a pen, a pen, a pencil, a pencil, a pencil. Oh, a pencil. He wants a pencil. A pencil. Here you go, buddy, and it's sharpened. No, no, yeah, the pen, the pen. Oh, he needs this pen. Oh, he could have said that. Oh, the really? pen that'll save his life. <laughs> Hold on, buddy, I got it. <laughs> You guys could have killed me with those peanuts. Dude, I didn't know there was peanuts in there. I was just trying to give you a snack. It says peanuts right there in the wrapper. You're going to have to start reading off the wrappers from now on. Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Tupac. What are you doing? You said I need to start reading off the wrappers. But no, the candy wrappers. Well, then say candy wrappers next time. <sighs> Do you guys have any candy I can have that isn't full of peanuts? Uh, yeah, I got a candy bar right here. Are there peanuts in it? No, it says Hershey on the wrapper, dude. Okay, I'll have a piece of that then. Okay, buddy. Here you go. Thanks. <coughs> How is this possible? Are there peanuts in that? Um, uh, Cody does not say there's peanuts in it. Uh, read the wrapper. Uh, Tupac, Eminem. No, it's the candy wrapper. Oh, uh, it says, uh, it says Hershey's milk chocolate with whole almonds, but it does not say peanuts. <coughs> oh, Cody, oh my God. Oh, what's wrong with you? Uh, almonds are nuts. All men are nuts. I thought you liked guys. No. Well, you don't like guys? About time. He likes girls now. <laughs> no, I'm allergic. Yeah, you're allergic to nuts, but there's no nuts in this. There's just almonds. You idiot. The pet, do the pet again. I can't use that pen unless you're having an allergic reaction. I am. On what? There's no nuts in here. Do, do the pet. Okay, if you die for me using this when it's not supposed to be used, it's your fault. <laughs> okay, okay, that's it. Everybody stay the hell away from me. Why are you acting like that, Cody? Because I was having an allergic reaction because almonds are a kind of nut. You're a nut. What, what the hell? You guys are going to kill me. What, almonds are not a nut. Yes, they are. Then why doesn't it have nut in the name? There's peanuts, walnuts, hazelnuts. Macadamia nut? Almond. Wait, okay, what about cashews? What the hell is that? You're just making up stuff now. Okay, that's it. I don't trust any of you with food anymore. We did not know that almonds were nuts. It's really confusing. They should put nut in the name. It should be called an almond nut. But they don't have to do that because everybody already knows it. I didn't know that. Joseph didn't know that. Mm. Okay, look, Cody, how about we go eat a bowl of cereal? There's nothing bad with cereal. Okay, I guess that's safe. As long as it's not Honey Nut Cheerios. It won't be that. It'll be like Fruit Loops or something. Okay. All right, guys, are you ready to eat some Minecraft Creeper Crunch? Well, you guys made a really big mess last time. We'll get Chef to clean it up later. Just make sure it doesn't get near me. Just stay over there. Okay, are you sure there's no nuts in the cereal? There's no nuts in it, Cody. It says the cinnamon-flavored cereal with marshmallows. Ooh, marshmallows. Okay. Do you like it, Joseph? Uh, it's okay. I would rather have some Lucky Charms, dude. I think I have some Lucky Charms. <laughs> oh, what now, Cody? There has to be nuts somewhere. There's no nuts in this cereal. Look, look at the box. Look at the box. <laughs> What's wrong? Where are the nuts? I, I don't know. I mean, the milk is sponsored by almonds. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, look, 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 look. It says right here, sponsored by almonds. It must be the Olympics, dude. Yeah, the Olympics. <laughs> Guys, it's almond milk. What, what's almond milk? It's milk that comes from almonds. You can't get milk from almonds. Almonds do not have titties or udders. You can get milk. Milk from almonds. Milk them right now. Yeah, I want to see you milk them. Uh, yeah. Guys, I need the pen. You're not getting the pen until you show us milk coming from the almonds. Please give me the pen. Come upstairs, come on. <laughs> All right, Cody, explain the almond milk thing. Look, almond milk comes from almonds. How? All right, show me. Milk them right now. I'll give you $5. Keep those things away from me. I'm going to need the pen again. How can milk come from these almonds? Look, I don't understand it either, okay? I just know that if I eat those again, I'm going to die. So you're allergic to milk, too? But yeah, sure, I'm allergic to milk. Who's that? What, PJ Crenshaw? Hey, what's up? Did you just walk into my house? Well, yeah, it's raining. PJ doesn't want to get his PJs wet. Uh, that makes sense. PJ doesn't get wet. He makes things wet. Isn't that right, ladies? Yeah! I have a slip and slide at my house. Maybe you can come over sometime. It would be an honor, PJ, but what are you doing here? Well, I just wanted to hang like the Scooby-Doo gang, you know, see what's going on. Oh, yeah, I would love to hang out. Okay, where's your couch? Uh, upstairs. Who's at the door, Junior? PJ Crenshaw! Here, Jimmy's Crenshaw? Jimmy Jim's Crenshaw? That's the one! Hey, guys, what's up? Oh, it's an honor to be in your presence, Mr. Crenshaw! What's he doing here? I don't know, but he brought hot girls. If PJ thinks you're cool, then you're totally hot. Wanna make out? Dude, 
we're so cool. They want us. Yeah, I just wanted to come over and hang out with the normal people, you know, see what it's like to be a normal kid. I can't believe you brats made a mess in that kitchen with those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You better come downstairs and clean it up right now. Huh, peanut butter and jelly. My middle name is Brandon, so my initials are PBJ. PBJ Crenshaw? Jelly Jams Crenshaw? Cut the crust off, Crenshaw. <laughs> hey, who wants to go eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with me? My tree. I want to eat the I peanut do. butter and jelly sandwiches. I, I want to eat them. I, I, I can't. Excuse me? What? Shut up, dude. Cody. Well, I, I'm sorry, I just can't. Are you really going to deny my free offer to have a feast of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? You hearing this lady? He just said no to PJ Crenshaw. That's not cool. We're not going to make out with you anymore. Oh, no, no, no. Cody doesn't know what he's talking about. Cody can eat a thousand peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. I saw him eat 25 minutes ago. Yeah. What? No, I didn't. No, no. He can, he can eat more peanut butter and jelly sandwiches than anyone I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Well, it sounds like you're challenging me to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich eating contest. Yeah, he is. What? No, I'm not. Yeah, he can eat more than anyone can eat in the entire world. All right, then it's official. We're going to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich eating contest. And whoever can eat the most peanut butter and jelly sandwiches wins. But Junior, why would you do that? You know I can't eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Well, we don't want those girls to leave us. Yeah. But Jun Junior, I'm going to die. Well, no, if you start freaking out, we'll stab you with the EpiPen and save your life. It's for emergencies only. This is an emergency. Now eat those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Come on, dude. All right. Whoever can eat all five of these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches first is the winner. Uh, guys, I really don't want to do this. Come on, Cody. You have to do it for us. You have to do it for the girls. Yeah, do it for us, dude. Come on. Okay. We'll have the pen ready. All right. Three, two, one, go! Guys, uh, I won! Yay! <coughs> Dude, I can't believe you lost! You lost, Cody! Oh, you're so stupid! Come on! Wow, I can't believe you lost, Cody! <coughs> I got your stupid EpiPen, but now that you lost, girls will never talk to us. Hey there, champ. Well, PJ Crenshaw! God, is that you? You know, kid, even though you lost the contest, you really gulped down those sandwiches. You showed some real fight, and I'm proud of you. Keep your head up, champ. I'll see you around. Ladies, give his boy some treatment. Okay! Mwah, mwah. We just got kissed on the cheek! Dude, I just lost my V-card! Oh, Cody, you got us kissed by girls! I don't care. I need the pen. Oh, right, the pen. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm going home. No, don't go home, Cody. You got girls to kiss us. Yeah, I lost my V-card, dude. If I stay here, I'm gonna die. No, no, no. We don't have to eat any more stuff. No more nut stuff. Let's just sit back and watch a nice, calm movie. Okay, that seems safe enough. Uh, what movie do you want to watch? I don't care. You pick. Joseph, what movie do you want to watch? Definitely not Big Hero 6, dude. Do not ever bring that movie up in front of me ever again. I hate Big Hero 6. It's the worst movie in the world. I'm ooh, sorry. Ooh. What if we watch The Nutty Professor? <laughs> I'm not allergic, I just hate that movie. <coughs> is why we have a toilet paper shortage today. Because the Egyptians would wrap the dead people in toilet paper. Any questions? Hey Cody, you wanna know the real reason why there's a toilet paper shortage? Because your mom's so fat, her big butt needs all the toilet paper to wipe it when she poops. Ha! Good one, dude! Shut up, Junior. Why are you getting so upset? You have mummy issues? You love your mummy? <laughs> I don't have a mom. You don't have a mom either, Junior. <laughs> dude, that's not cool! What, what, he can make fun of my mom, but I can't make fun of his? <laughs> All right, Pras, the bell means it's time to go to lunch. I'll see you in 15 minutes. Free food! Let's go to lunch. We have a lunch room? We've never been to lunch before. Yay! I get to run to lunch like a weird kid. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Hey there, how's it going? Can I please get a cheeseburger? <laughs> cheeseburger? I got your cheeseburger right here. Me slap surprise, enjoy. Thank you. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, well, I got something to fill your belly. Me slot surprise. Thank you. Uh, do you have anything kosher? Kosher? I don't know what that is, but I got some meat slot surprise for you. <sighs> okay, thank you. What are your vegan options? <laughs> you kids and your jokes. You never fail to crack me up. <sighs> it's a meat slot surprise. I can't eat meat. Don't you dare disrespect my meat slot surprise again. Get out of my face. Uh, what is this? Is this even edible? I am not eating this. Come on, guys. Who doesn't love me slot surprise? It's actually pretty good after you throw up in your mouth a few times. Well, I've already thrown up in my mouth once, and it's still gross. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go back to class. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> well, hello there. Oh, hey there, handsome. What can I do for you? I want some of that. Really? You want some of my meat slop surprise? Yeah, it looks yummy. You know what? For use, I'm going to give you two scoops. Okay. 
with extra loving. Mm. You enjoy that now, sweetheart. Oh, it looks yummy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now that's a hit, so man, I think I'm in love. Hey, Jeffy, how was school? Delicious. Today at school, the lunch lady made meat slop surprise. What's meat slop surprise? Oh, I brought some home. I'll show you. Right here, Daddy. Ew, Jeffy, that looks gross. Well, it looks the same going in as it does coming out. Oh, my God, it smells like throw up. Let me see. Oh, my God, Jeffy, that's awful. But it tastes amazing. You should try some. No, I'm, I'm going to call the school and complain. They should not be serving our kids this kind of food. They should be serving healthy stuff. Oh, let me get my phone. But this is good. All right, I'm calling the school. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. May I please speak to the lunch lady? You speak it to us. Oh, wow. You have a very deep voice for a lunch lady. Thank you. I get it from my dad in two packs a day. Well, I'm calling because my son, Jeffy... <laughs> Shut up, Jeffy. Stop it. He brought home meat slop surprise. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Well, I think it's very gross and repulsive, and I think you should make something different. In all my 20 years of cooking... I ain't never had nobody complain about my meat swap surprise. Well, that's that's very crazy to hear because I think it's gross and I think everybody would hate it. So I think you should make something different. Too bad. It's the only thing I know how to make. So back off, pup. Well, I think you should learn how to cook, you not knowing how to cook her. <gasps> Marvin. Well, you know what? How about you become a lunch lady? And then you can decide what's going to be on the menu. I'll never become a lunch lady because I actually want a future and a career. <gasps> Marvin. Well, she was just very mean and gross and I think she should learn how to cook. Danny, you were really mean. Lunch lady, and she's a nice lady. She's not a nice lady, and she, she does not know how to cook. Well, you're ugly. Well, uh, throw this away. That was really mean when my daddy said to that lunch lady. I'm gonna call her and apologize. Hello. Hey, this is the kid in the yellow shirt from lunch today that really liked your cooking. Oh, hey there, sweetheart. Yeah, I wanted to call and apologize because I heard what my daddy said to you on the phone, and I thought it was really mean. But your cooking's really, really yummy. You really think so? Yeah, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Man, I love that kid. And that cross is why pyramids are shaped like triangles. Because if they were circles, they would roll away. Any questions, Cross? Free food! Oh no, it's lunchtime again. It's a good thing we brought our lunch today. All right, Cross, you know what the bell means. Time to go to lunch again. Yay! Lunchtime again! Come on, arms! I'm still not hungry. Hey there, hot mama. What's on the menu today? Hopefully it's you. Sorry, sweetheart, I'm taken by a beautiful man in a yellow shirt and a blue helmet. Uh, the good ones are always taken. Yeah, sorry about that, but here's your meat slop surprise. Sam. Ooh, thank you. What's cooking, good looking? Oh, there he is, my big handsome man. What's on your menu today? I got something extra special for you. Meat slop surprise, sandwich double scoop, mm. made with extra love. Thank you. Oh, he's gonna be mine someday. I just can't stand it. Oh man, I'm so glad I brought a Lunchable today. Me too. You guys are really missing out on this meat slop surprise sandwich. I mean, the bread really stops you from throwing up. The fact that it even makes you want to throw up means it's bad. Well, not everybody's privileged like you, Cody. We can't just bring Lunchables to school every day. Oh. Hey there, sweet cheeks. How's that meat slap surprise treating you? Oh, it's really good. Really? You know, I loves me a man that can appreciate my cooking. You truly are something special. Uh-huh. All right, I'll see you later, baby. Okay. All right, Crass, I hope everyone enjoyed their lunch. So everyone get out a piece of paper and start taking notes. Hey there, sorry for interrupting, but I got a letter for Jeffy. Okay, make it quick. I'm trying to teach a Crass here. Here you go, Jeffies. I wrote you something special. Don't show nobody. Okay. I'll see you later, my love. What did he say? <gasps> I can't read. Give me that. No, give it back. Hey, hey, everybody. Jeffy has a love letter from the lunch lady. Give it back. It says, Dear Jeffy, I love you more than meat slop surprise. Love Muriel. And then she kissed it with her butthole. <laughs> Jeffy has a girlfriend. <laughs> Aha, Jeffy got a girlfriend. Jeffy has a girlfriend. Everyone shut up. <laughs> Where? Where? Uh oh, Marvin. Sounds like someone needs to call the ambulance. No one likes you, mommy. Jeffy, why are you crying? Because everyone.
Mike's making fun of me because I got a girlfriend. Ooh, Jeffy, you have a girlfriend. Is it your right hand? That's not appropriate, Marvin. Peep the letter, Daddy. Oh, she wrote you a letter? Mm-hmm. Dear Jeffy, I love you more than meat slop surprise. Love, Muriel. Who's Muriel? The lunch lady. What? The lunch lady, Jeffy? The lunch lady can't be writing you love letters? Jeffy, that's sick. She's like 80 years old. Well, you know what this is, Daddy? That's what we like to call a scratch and sniff. <sighs> yep. Smells like straight ass. Jeffy, you cannot date the lunch lady. This is sick. She could go to jail for this. But she makes me good food, Daddy. I'll get it. Wait, no, Jeffy, someone else answered the door. We have to yell at you about this stupid letter because this is wrong. Uh, hello? <gasps> oh my God, she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Oh, those big, beautiful lips. Oh, that chin hair and that big, beautiful mole. I wonder what it tastes like. I gotta have her. Uh, hey, baby, uh, what are you doing here? Is my man Jeffy here? Uh, Jeffy? Yeah, he's here, but what do you need with him? He's my boyfriend. Wait, your boyfriend? Wait, he, he's dating this hot piece of ass? Sure is. Oh, lose the zero and get with the hero, baby. Come on, I'm a real man. I would never disrespect my Jeffy like that. Well, what does he have that I don't have? <laughs> he loves my meat slop surprise. <laughs> <laughs> if it's what I think it is, then I love it too, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's what all men say. Now move. <laughs> Dang, she's a freak. I need that in my life. All right, Jeffy, promise me that if you hear from this lunch lady ever again, you have to call us immediately, okay? Okay, Daddy. Hey there, Jeffy's. Your baby's here. Hey. What? No, stay away from our son. We do not like you. Yeah, you're like 80 years old. Hey, I'm not a day over 60, and I'm in love. The older the berry, the sweeter the juice. Jeffy, stop it. Look, I'm going to call the cops and have them settle this. Well, they can't stop true love. Hey there, someone call the cops? Yes, officer, this lunch lady's trying to date my son. Oh, no. Uh, Marvin, can I talk to you? What's wrong? That's one of my ex-girlfriends. She's one of your ex-girlfriends? How old is she? She's like 40, but the years have not been kind to her. Do my eyes deceive me? Is that Brooklyn Four Fingers guy? Hey, Muriel. Hey there, Brookie. I see you came crawling back to me. What? No, look, it was college, it was dark, I was drunk, and I thought the mole on her face was a nipple. I swear, hand to God. Yeah, well, don't matter no way because I broke up with him. But no, it was the other way around. I broke up with her. Oh, yeah? Then why do I have voicemails on my phone of you crying, begging me to come back? Hey, delete those! Well, look, officer, look, she wrote this creepy letter to my son. We don't like it, and we want a restraining order against her. Yeah, I used to get love letters with that print on them all the time. Okay, look, Muriel, I'm writing a restraining order against you for Jeffy. You're not allowed within 100 feet of him. You can't stop our love! Oh, the law can absolutely stop your love because your love is icky, okay? So you're not allowed to come within 100 feet of him. Nope. Too late. Jesus Christ, just get out of here before I arrest you! <laughs> Fine! <sighs> Thank you so much. <gasps> Restraining order? That means she's single! Oh my god, I have a chance, I have a chance! Okay, I got the perfect plan! So I set up the perfect date, and then I call her pretending to be Jeffy, and then she comes over, she sees me, and then we fall in love. <laughs> Let me call her. <laughs> oh, it's ringing! Hello? Uh, hey there! <laughs> Jeffy, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Uh -uh. I'm sorry, Jeffy. I'm so sorry that we can't be together. But I set up the perfect dinner. You should come over. Uh -uh. Really? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I'm on my way. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. Oh, my God. I can't believe my Jeffy set up the most beautiful date. And he made me slop surprise? Oh, I'm gonna have to marry him. Hey, baby. What the? You're not my Jeffies! You're right. I'm better. I'll have you know, I'm waiting for my Jeffies, and he made me the most perfect meat slop surprise. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't, baby. See, the thing is, I made it. You know how to make meat slop surprise? Oh, it's my specialty, baby. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, why don't you come over here and get some of this meat slop surprise, big boy? Oh, don't make me bad for it! Get over here! <laughs> wow! Don't you ever leave me, baby! Sorry, sweet cheeks, but I'm gonna have to. Why? Well, you see, there's plenty of other fish in the sea. How do you think I got this smell? I love you! <laughs> Chef Pee what I just witnessed will scar me for the rest of my life. Thank you for 
we're taking us out to eat, Chef PB. Yeah, I didn't feel like cooking tonight, so it's my treat. Uh, my food was raw, and I ate half of it before I noticed, so now I'm worried I'm gonna get sick. Would anyone like a takeaway box? No, I don't need one. Uh, hey, my food was raw, so is there anything we could do about it? I need one! What, well, Joseph, you barely touched your food! Yeah, you only took two bites! What's wrong with you, Joseph? Well, when you're homeless like me, you gotta shave for every bite. I'ma eat it later! Uh, guys, I'm starting to feel kinda sick. Ah, uh, here you are, sir. Oh man, I can't wait to eat this later. <laughs> wow, wasting a perfectly good meal, Cody. If it was a perfectly good meal, I wouldn't be throwing it up. Hey, Chef Pee, how can you afford to take us all out to eat? That's the thing, guys. I can't. Run, Gears! <laughs> so, how are you gonna want to pay? No, oh, bonus! They died and dashed! Someone call the police! <laughs> Chef Pee, you didn't pay? Of course I didn't pay! That place is too expensive. We just can't eat there ever again! I don't want to eat there again. My food was raw. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm kind of hungry. So let me eat my burger. <laughs> but Joseph, what happened to your food? I don't know, dude! That's crazy. Uh. <gasps> I can't believe you, dude! Yeah, that was you, Cody! What? You just burped. That's your stomach bragging that you just ate all of Joseph's food. No, I just had to burp. No, you were so upset about your peak ass burger that you ate my burger! Well, I didn't eat your burger! It all makes sense, Cody. You were mad about your food at the restaurant, so when we weren't looking, you shoveled all of Joseph's food in your mouth like a fatty. What? No, I didn't! You're just like your mom, a big fat whale cow. Yeah, you obese ogre! Yeah, big fat ogre! Well, I didn't eat your food! No, no, you're just like your mom. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, so your mom eats all the apples because she's fat, and then she picks her teeth with a tree like a tooth. Pick. Ha! Fatty McFat Fat! So fat! Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't eat Joseph's food! But then, then where's his food at? Well, I don't know. Maybe it fell out. Into your mouth because yeah. you're fat! Yeah! Well, or maybe maybe he picked up the wrong box! That's exactly what a fat person who eats someone's to-go box would say. Fat excuses! Yeah, big fat excuses. Okay, what, what, what can I do to prove it? Well, let, me, let me smell your breath. What, why? Because then I can smell that you ate Joseph's food. But we all had the same food. It's gonna smell the same. No, Joseph's burger smelled different. Let me smell. Okay. Oh, it smells like Joseph's burger. I knew it! Mm -hmm. I knew it! It smells so fat. I didn't eat your goddamn burger! Okay, then go step on a scale. What? I, I wanna weigh you. If you weigh like you have two burgers in your belly, then that, that means you ate it. What? You don't even know how much I weighed before I ate! You look super fat right now. You look like a chipmunk with all the burgers in your cheeks. What, what are you talking about? Look, come to the scale, come on. Admit it! All right, Cody, step on the scale. This isn't gonna prove anything. It's gonna prove that your belly's full of hamburgers because you're the hamburglar. Okay, fine. There, I weigh about 50 pounds. 50 pounds? Wow! Oh, you're so many hamburgers in that belly. Well, I didn't eat your burger. If you admit it now, I won't be mad. Well, you shouldn't be mad because I didn't eat it. The fact that he keeps lying makes me sad. Oh, Joseph. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Joseph. No, it's not, dude. He can't even admit that he ate my burger. Okay, guys, that's it. I've had enough. Oh, now you've had enough? You didn't have enough when you ate the food at the restaurant. You didn't have enough when you ate Joseph's food out of his to-go box. Why is it enough now? Oh, my God, guys. What am I gonna have to do to prove I didn't eat we can give you the fat test. Wait, what is the fat test? The fat exam, or the FAT. What is the FAT? The FAT is the fat ass test. It tests how fat you are. Well, okay, fine, I'll take the FAT. Joseph, grab the Butterfingers. <gasps> Not the Butterfinger, dude! Yep, the Butterfingers, grab it. Oh, okay. What is the Butterfinger for? No fat person can resist a Butterfinger, so we're gonna put the Butterfingers in the to-go box, and you have to resist yourself from eating it. Okay, I'm just not gonna eat it. No fat person can resist a Butterfinger, dude! Yeah, you're gonna grab that to-go box, and you're gonna start eating the Butterfinger. I'm not gonna eat it. Okay, we'll see. He's reaching for it! Oh, he's so fat! He's reaching for it! Well, no, I wasn't reaching. I was just sitting down. Oh, no, no, no. You're just trying to sneak your hand in the to-go box so you can grab the Butterfinger. Well, no, you know what? I'm just going to stand all the way over here. Oh, okay. You're going you're to try to go around the couch and go behind our backs and eat the Butterfinger. No, I'm not going to eat the Butterfinger because I didn't eat the burger. When would I even have had time to eat the burger? I was too busy throwing up and running away. You're just trying to monologue so we fall asleep so then you can grab your hand inside the to-go box and eat the Butterfinger. I'm not going to eat it. Oh, yeah? Well, Joseph, show him the Butterfinger. It's right here. Maybe just... Oh! You already ate it! I knew it! What? How would I even eat it? Well, maybe you use your mind, your tele fat and mind to, yeah. to, to like to like teleport it into your stomach. But I can't just absorb food with my brain. But your stomach can absorb food with its fatness. What? No, guys, I didn't eat it. This is weird. I don't even know what happened. Oh, where did the Butterfinger go, Cody? I, I don't know. Maybe the box can like teleport stuff inside it. Oh, well, if the box can teleport stuff, why, why don't it teleport me next to a model in the shower? Yeah, maybe it only works if I close it. Huh? Where am I? Oh, my sweet Jesus. Oh, my God! See, look, Cody, Joseph is inside the to-go box. He's not teleporting anywhere. You can come out now, Joseph. Ah! He's gone! Where did Joseph go? How is this even possible? Did you eat him, you fatty? No, shut up, Junior. This is serious. Joseph just disappeared. How could that happen? Well, Junior, it is a to-go box. Maybe it teleports you anywhere you want to go. To-go box? 
It's called that because it takes you where you want to go. SML movie, the to-go box. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. Oh, oh wait, so, so you're telling me that Joseph teleported into a shower with a supermodel? No way. Oh, hey guys. Wait, Joseph, where have you been? I saw cans. It teleported you to a grocery store? No, your friend got arrested for being a peeping Tom because he got in the shower with a supermodel. Well, no, it's not his fault, officer. He got teleported from this to-go box. What are you, kids on smack or something? You're talking crazy. No, really, officer, he's telling the truth. Yeah. I sat in this to-go box and it teleported me there. Oh, really? If this to-go box really teleports people, then I want to be in the shower with a supermodel. Nothing's happening. Well, I have to close it. What the? What, where am I? What, oh, my sweet Jesus. Um, hey, could you pass the soap? Oh, my God! What are you doing? Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You guys think it worked? Yeah, dude, it worked for me. Oh, man, you kids were not lying. She was pissed. Oh, but man, was she hot, though. Officer, why do you think this to-go box teleports us places? I don't know. You guys got some kind of crazy alien to-go box technology. Honestly, I just destroy it. Nobody should have that much power. All right, we'll destroy it right now. Oh, man, my ugly wife is calling me. Hello? Ugly wife? Oh, you heard that, huh? Well, what's up, Karen? Boydy, I sort of kind of started a fire in the kitchen. How'd you manage that, Karen? I was cooking. Why would you even attempt that? We both know you're bad at it. Because I was really hungry, Boydy. Why didn't you just eat a Lunchable? Boydy, it's a mess. I need you to come home and cook dinner. You have to do laundry, too, and give me a back rub, because my back hurts. Why does your back hurt? What did you do today? Well, I just woke up, and I need you to feed the four puppies, too. We don't have puppies, Karen. Oh, I adopted puppies today, and they peed all over the house, so you need to clean that up when you get home. Okay. I want to go to Hawaii. What, you want to go, what? Close the box! Uh, okay. Oh, man, I am in paradise. Nope, not answering my phone. You guys think he's enjoying Hawaii? I know I would. Yeah, he probably is, but we should still destroy this thing like the cops said. You're right, Cody, let's destroy it. No, we can't, dude. We have our own teleportation device. Let's use it. Let's have fun. You're right, Joseph. When are we ever going to get a teleportation device again? We should have fun and go places we'll never go. <gasps> we could go to Disney World in Tokyo. <gasps> dude, I love Asian Mickey Mouse. He loves you long time. What? Well, Cody, come on, let's go have fun. Well, guys, this thing is dangerous. How is it dangerous, Cody? Well, what if we teleport somewhere bad? Like what, your mom's bedroom while she's getting dressed? <laughs> We'll see a big fat whale naked. Oh! Yeah, like that. Come on, Cody. We can teleport you to a buffet so you can keep eating food, you fatty. What, do you guys still think I ate Joseph's food after all of this? You guys are idiots. Come on, Cody. Why don't we teleport to the moon and we can jump around in zero gravity? Oh, that'd be fun, dude. You would die. How would we die? People have been to the moon before and haven't died. Well, there's no air. We'll hold our breath. Well, even if you could hold your breath that long, you'd still freeze to death in space. We can wear jackets. Duh. Well, I don't think you guys understand how cold space is. We'll wear two jackets. <laughs> Idiot. Well, okay, fine, Gina. Go to the moon. Do it. No, I don't want to go anymore. Why? Because you know you're going to die? No, because you ruined it. I don't, I don't want to go to the moon anymore. It's stupid. Okay, whatever. Dude, dude. If this could teleport us anywhere, it could take me to meet my dad. <gasps> You've never met your dad before. And it could find your dad for you and take you to your dad. I know, dude. Like, he abandoned me when I was little, so I could just pop up on him and, and Maybe we could like play basketball together or something. Oh my god, you have to get in there. Okay, okay take it to your dad. <gasps> Come on, take me to my dad. Huh? Wait, where am I? <laughs> dad! <laughs> I'm trapped in a coffin! Somebody get me out! Guys, guys, help, help, help! <laughs> Do you think he's with his dad? Yeah, I bet they're laughing and giggling and hugging and having the best time. Yeah, I bet they are. All right, Cody, where do you want to go? I'm not going anywhere in that damn thing. But why not? You don't want to go see your mom? Why would I see my mom? I already know where she is. She's at home. No, she's in the deep blue sea because she's a whale. Oh my god, Junior, stop with the mom jokes. Okay, I'll be done for the day. Hmm. Ooh, I know where I want to go. What if I teleport inside a bank vault and I grab all the money and bring it back here? Well, you would have no way of getting back. Oh, you're right. <gasps> what if I tie a string around me, and then and then I go to the bank, and then you pull me back with the string? Well, that might work. I, I don't know. Uh, are you sure you want to try it? I mean, if you get caught in the vault trying to steal money, you're going to be in big trouble. Well, that's why you're going to pull me back with the string! Uh, if you say so. I'm going to get the string. All right, Cody, so the string is wrapped around me, so I'm going to go in the to-go box, I'm going to go to a bank, you're going to count to ten, and then you're going to pull me out, and I'm going to have millions of dollars. Okay, count to ten, then I pull you out. Got it. All right. To-go box, take me to a bank with a lot of money. Oh my god, it worked! Look at all this money! Cody, we're so rich! Alright, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh shit.
Oh no. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Uh, oh good, it's Junior. Hello? You let go of the string! I didn't let go, it broke off! Oh yeah, likely story. You're just mad at me because I called you fat, so you're trying to get payback by making me stranded in this vault. Well no, your side of the string teleported away with you. You're supposed to hold on to it! I did, but it broke in half. Cody, you have to do something. I don't want to go to jail. Look, look, teleport me like a, a, a blanket. A blanket? Why? It's cold in here. Well, Junior, I really don't know how to help you. Ooh, ooh, can you teleport me some snacks, like some Skittles or like... Like, ooh, a butterfinger. What, well, Junior, I don't think that's gonna help. Oh, oh no! The alarm's going off! They, they found me! Cody! Uh, I gotta go. Oh, man. Breaking news, MK! A kid has been arrested after breaking into a safe and trying to steal all the money. Wow, can today get any worse? There he is! That's the guy that died in dust! Got him! No! Come on, I didn't even like your stupid food! Take me somewhere! Take me somewhere! Anywhere! So, baby, you want to watch a movie tonight? Sure, Marvin. Or we could not watch a movie. Ooh, I like where this is going. <laughs> Jeffy, what do you want? Hey, I'm going to try and run my time What? My time I'm going to try and run it. Jeffy, I don't know what you're saying. Out bad. Not nipple. Mmm, right it. Je Jeffy, did you do your homework? Now, Dan, you and I both know I did not do my damn homework. Je Jeffy, you're not riding your... I don't know where you got this at, but you're Night not... Knife nipple. It's a tricycle, not a knife nipple. It's a knife nipple. It's like this. You're not riding this until you do your homework. Oh, come on, Danny. I want to go and try and ride my knife nipple. Jeffy, you're not riding this until you do your homework. Uno reverse card, you do it. What? You told me to do something, and I put down an Uno reverse card, and so now you have to do it. What, Jeffy, Uno cards don't control real life. Yes, they do. Well, you know what, then? I just canceled. I don't have to do it. Well, now you gotta do my homework for the next four days. That's not what that card means, Jeffy. Yes, it does. Marvin, please, let him go ride it around the house. Okay, Jeffy, you can go ride your nice sniffle or tricycle for five minutes, and... Not <laughs> Jeffy, you can go ride it for five minutes, and then you have to do your homework. Uh -huh. I'm about to ride the F out of this rock nipple. I'm about to send it down these stairs. Bim, bim, bim. What was that noise? I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm not helping Jeffy because I told him not to ride the bike in the house. Play. Ah, the devil! Marvin, so uh, listen, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Why would I do a favor for you? You're the devil. Well, listen, I, I have this friend who really needs a place to stay for a few days, and I was wondering if he could stay here. Why does he stay with you? Well, oh, believe me, he did, but uh, my wife kind of got tired of him, and so did I. Well, if you got tired of him, won't we get tired of him? No, no, he's a really nice guy, really. He just, he likes to play games. Play games? What kind of games? Oh, games, you know, like, like, oh no, like, well, not really, but games. Oh, Marvin. Marvin, that's someone that could play with Jeffy. I think it sounds like a good idea. Yeah, great. Okay, he'll be over in a few minutes. No, I didn't agree for him to live here. What? There he is now. Come on, I'll introduce you. Ugh. Billy, good to see you again. Did you ask? Yes, I did. And they said you could stay here for as long as you want. Really? Did you tell him about the games? I did. I told them all about the games. Yay. Well, uh, well, why does he look like that? Oh, you know, that's, uh, that, that's Billy. Anyway, you two have fun. Bye. Oh. Marvin, he's really scary. I know he looks really scary. Um, hey. Hi. Um, this is my wife, Rose, and, and I'm Marvin. Cool. Uh, well, we're going to go upstairs and watch a movie. That's hot. Real hot. Can I use your restroom? Uh, the bathroom's upstairs. Thanks. Uh, let's go upstairs. Okay. Marvin, I don't know if I want that man staying with us. It was your idea. You said, ooh, he could play with Jeffy. I didn't know he was going to be that scary. Look, baby, as long as he doesn't bother us, what's the problem? I guess you're right. Do you want to watch a movie? Yeah, let's just sit down, relax, and watch a movie. Okay. Wait, where's the remote? I don't know. It was just here a second ago. We lost the remote. Check between the couch cushions. Okay. It was just right here. Why, hello, Marvin. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? The remote you're looking for is in this face, filled with glass shards and AIDS needles. So you have a decision to make. Sit here in silence, or watch a steamy rom-com with your wife and get down and dirty later. You decide. <laughs> Why would he do that? I don't know. Marvin, don't touch it! I I'm not touching it. I, I, I just want to get the remote. Like No, Marvin, stop! How are we going to watch a movie? I'll just get my phone and we can watch the movie on my phone. <sighs> okay. God, he's annoying. All right, guys, are you ready to eat some Fruit Loops? Junior, why did you give us forks? I looked around the entire house. I can't find any spoons. Well, we can't eat cereal with forks. The milk's just gonna leak out. 
Who are you? I would like to play a game. All the spoons in the house have been zip tied to knives. The knives are also covered in AIDS. Do you risk cutting your mouth and getting AIDS for these delicious loops of fruit? The choice is yours. Wait, I don't even know how to approach the bowl. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna eat it with the fork and then drink the milk. Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. Oh, dude, I can do this. Screw the AIDS! Mm. Oh man, I can't wait to drink some orange Gatorade. It's my favorite. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's enough. All right, time to put the lid back on. <laughs> Chef PP, I would like to play a game. Wait, who are you? I flipped your glass of Gatorade upside down so you can't drink it. Wait, why would you do that? You have a decision to make. Either drink your Gatorade off the floor when it pours out, or die of thirst. The choice is yours. Oh, why would he do that? Maybe if I flip it fast enough, it'll 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 work. Uh, ah, God! Ah, dang it, and I broke it! Oh, come back here! This is so dumb that we have to watch a movie on our phone. Oh, sorry, Marvin, I tooted. All aboard the toot toot tree. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, time to wipe. What? I wanna play a game. <laughs> you need to wipe, but the toilet paper's been replaced with duct tape. <gasps> or you can use sandpaper. So the choice is yours. Sticky bum, rashy bum. Choose wisely. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow! What's wrong, baby? I chose sandpaper. What? I don't want to talk about it, Marvin. Can we just watch our movie? We can't. My phone died. Oh, no. Well, I'll go plug it into the charger. Hmm, it's not charging. Well, make sure the charger's plugged in the wall. Okay. Uh-oh. Who zip-tied the charger? <laughs> What's wrong, Marvin? Can't charge your phone. You zip-tied the charger. I zip-tied the charger. Now, what could help you cut that zip-tie? A pair of scissors. A pair of scissors. Come on, Marvin, cut it. You zip tied the scissors. Oh, I did? I, I didn't even realize. You know, I think we should play a game. No, not another game. The only pair of scissors in the house that isn't zip tied is in this face of broken glass and AIDS needles. You decide, Marvin. Charge your phone or AIDS. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Craig, we need you back here! Boy! Oh, hey, Marvin. How are things going with Bailey? Bad. Oh, he's playing the broken glass and aid needles game again. He likes that one. He did this to you, too? Oh, yeah, this is his favorite. He made me choose between duct tape and sandpaper! Oh, I chose the duct tape, but then I wiped my butt with the non-sticky side, but then the sticky side got stuck to my hand and I made a big poopy mess everywhere. Ew! Well, what are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Just don't go to the bathroom. Well, Billy's gotta go. No, oh, come on. Billy's a nice guy. He just doesn't have a lot of friends. I can see why he does this every time. Well, have you thought about playing a normal game with Billy, like Connect Four or Hungry Hungry Hippos? Yeah, Marvin, maybe he's such a bad guy because he doesn't have a lot of friends. I guess we can try playing normal games with him and try to get him some friends. Okay, great, so just let me know if you need anything else. Billy, can you come in here? Hey, Marvin, did you call because you wanted to play a game? Yes, me and my wife actually want to play a game. Perfect. This rubber ducky is covered in AIDS needles. The winner is whoever squeezes it the most. The loser dies. The winner also gets AIDS. Well, no, we're not going to play this game. Why not? Because you don't have to hurt people when you play games. You don't? No, you can play a nice, fun, safe game. Like, like tug of war? Yeah, we can play tug of war. Let me grab some rope. Oh, I got it. Barbed wire. Wait, we're not using barbed wire. Covered in AIDS. No, we're not going to use this. Why not? Because it's going to hurt. We need to play games that are nice and fun and safe, like rock, paper, scissors. Oh, and the loser gets a paper cut, beat to death with a rock, or stabbed in the eye with scissors. What? No, you're trying to hurt people again. You don't have to hurt people. Look, why don't we play a nice, fun board game? Where we tie someone to a board and saw them in half, if they can't send their ABCs backwards. Wait, no, 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 look, let me go grab a board game. Okay, Billy, this game is called Connect Four. It's nice and fun and safe. Watch. So, does the loser get four fingers cut off? No. Do they die? No. Do they get AIDS? No. Then what's the point? It's supposed to be fun. Look, take your red piece and put it in there. Is it gonna electrocute me? No. Ha! Huh, nothing happened. I, I know, you're supposed to connect four. Ah, then the AIDS. No, no one gets AIDS. Look, it's just supposed to be fun. Huh, oh, idea. Marvin, how are you gonna connect four when one of your pieces is covered in AIDS glass? Okay, you know what? Let's play a different game. I was thinking the same thing. Bigger rubber ducky with AIDS needles! Okay, we're gonna play a different game. I'm gonna go get it. Okay, Billy, this game is called Pictionary. Ooh, 
how do I play? Well, you pick a card, you draw what's on the card, and we have to guess what you're drawing. If you don't guess it right, do you get pushed into a meat grinder? No, nothing happens if we don't guess it right. <sighs> Lame. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, guess. It looks like a man on fire. Ooh, close. What's another way you could say that? Um, a burning man? <gasps> she got it right! There's no way the card says burning man. You just wanted to draw something bad. Oh, yeah? Read it and weep. What? It does say burning man. Yeah, so I can just go again. <clears throat> Marvin, this is kind of fun. Yeah, it's nice and safe and no one gets hurt. Yeah. Yeah, well, I kind of like it. Yes! What? Okay, this is this is just bad. You're drawing a guy prying his eyes out. You got it right! There's no way the card says prying your eyes out. You just want to say something bad. It says it right there. That says cry your eyes out. Well, I mean, he's crying his eyes out in pain. Eight. He does not have AIDS. Yes, he does. He, he just can't see in the picture. He has AIDS. Oh, okay, look. Go, go again, but draw something that's not bad. Okay, okay. I, I wish he would draw something fun, like, you know, a, no. a puppy dog. Ooh, this one's gonna take a while. You gotta give me a second. Uh, okay, um... A kitty cat. Like, yeah, a little kitty cat, or like... You know, a tree. Okay, yes. Okay, this is just barbed wire. <gasps> you got it right. What? See? The card says barbed wire. Yeah. What? Okay, I'm done playing games with you. Everything's about death and hurting stuff. Oh, come on, Marvin. Just one more game. What, 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 what one more game? Pet the rubber ducky covered in AIDS needles. Okay, that's it. I want you out of my house. You're not allowed to stay here anymore. Oh, come on, Marvin. We were having so much fun playing games. No, we're not having fun. I think it's time for you to go. Oh, that's part of the game, Marvin. I'm never leaving. You're gonna leave right now. No, I'm not. Hey, Daddy. I just woke up from being unconscious after taking my snipe sniffle down the stairs. Not right now, Jeffy. We're dealing with something. Oh, my God. God, is that a tricycle? Yeah, it's a tricycle. What about it? I would do anything for that tricycle. Anything for that tricycle? Oh, yeah. Would you leave and never come back? Oh, you would never see me again. Oh, Jeffy, can you please give this guy your tricycle? No way, Daddy! This is my guy, Niffle! But who's the clown? His name is Billy, Jeffy. Look, I will do anything. I will I will buy you whatever you want. I'll take you to Disney World. I'll do whatever you want if you give oh. if you if you give him your tricycle. Buy me whatever I want? Okay. I guess I'll give him my guy, Niffle. But I just want to do one thing. I would like to play a game. <gasps> I love playing games. All right, Billy. You ready to go down the stairs? Best day ever. All right, here you go. Whee! And done. All right, dude, my bowling ball is ready for the bowling championship. Joseph, can you believe we're playing in the bowling championship tonight? Oh, dude, I'm so ready. Oh, we need to hurry up and go. We're running late. We have to wait for Cody. Oh, hey, guys. Cody, where's your bowling shoes? In the bowling ball, dude. Oh, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to play in the bowling championship tonight. What? You can't play in the bowling championship? Why? Because Ken has a waxing appointment tonight. Ken has to get waxed? He can't even grow hair. He's a dog, dude. Oh, he can grow hair, believe me. Cody, you understand we're playing in the championship game tonight against the Ramirez. Ramirez family. Oh, that damn Eddie Ramirez. He needs to lose. Yeah, Cody, we're undefeated and so are they. This is going to be the best championship ever. I know, guys. I'm sorry, but I can't play. Why, why don't you just reschedule the waxing appointment? Yeah, dude. We won like 12 games to get this far. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't reschedule. Yolanda doesn't have another appointment available for another two months and I'm not going to deal with the hairy bum. Cody, look, we need you. We're going to get creamed without you. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Ken's just more important. So the only reason you're not bowling is because of Ken. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Then what? you're not getting Ken back until you bowl. Well, hey, give him back. <laughs> Junior, give him back. No, you're going to cost us the bowling championship. Give him back. He needs to be whacked. Joseph, catch. What? Oh, oh, I got to do. Jo Joseph, give him back. Oh, go long. No. Yeah, Ken. Oh, man, I can't wait to eat the strawberry banana milkshake. It's going to be so good. Get in that stupid banana. <sighs> Check, 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 check. I'm telling you guys, Ken's not in here. Pour it out, pour it out, pour it out. Uh -oh. oh, God, no. Oh, God. Oh, oh damn. Uh, I thought he was a banana, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, no, Ken, why? Oh, it's okay. Look, 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 look. He's just, he's just, like, uh, he's okay? He's dead. Ken's a milkshake. He's milkshake. 
Oh, maybe we can wash off the pieces and put it back together. Get the pieces, get the pieces. Oh, get all the pieces, let's put it back together, put it back together. Yeah. Oh, look, Cody, look, we have all the pieces. Maybe we can put them back together. We can't put them back together, Junior. He's dead. He's all cut up into little pieces. He was never alive to begin with. He's a dog, dude. Now let's go to this bowling championship. Screw the bowling championship. My boyfriend was killed. Look, look, Cody, look, maybe after the bowling championship we can put them back together. No, Junior. The only person who could possibly put them back together is a doctor. We're not calling a doctor over your broken toy, Cody. Please call a doctor. I'll go to the bowling championship if you call a doctor. Oh, okay, okay. let's call a doctor. <laughs> Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. My boyfriend got blended into a million pieces. He was milkshake kid. Yeah, his toy got blended up. Well, kid, you gotta take better care of your toys. He's not a toy, he's my boyfriend. Well, look, Joseph accidentally threw Ken in the blender. No, I was aiming for the blender, dude. Oh, God. Well, look, dude, can you just please put his toy back together? Mm, no, I don't think so. Wait, is that a Ken doll? Huh, you know, my nerd brother has one of those. He does? Yeah, he collects dolls and action figures and nerd stuff like that. Well, can you please call your brother and ask him if we can have that action figure? Because Cody needs to stop crying because we have to go in the bowling championship. Wait, bowling championship? You guys are in the bowling championship? Yeah, against the Ramirez family. Oh, I hope you beat that bastard Eddie Ramirez. I'm so tired of seeing him win. Well, we need Cody to be able to beat him, so can you please make Cody happy? I'm not gonna bowl until you fix my boyfriend. <sighs> okay, I guess I could try calling my brother, but he really doesn't like messing with his collection. All right, I'm calling him. Come on, Cody, stop being so sad. Oh, come on, Jonathan, answer. You're always on your phone. Hello, this is Jonathan. Sorry I couldn't make it to the phone right now. I'm currently covered in heart babes. <laughs> Ooh, he's not a stop. I'm sensitive, girl. <laughs> Leave a message after the beep. Beep. I got his voicemail. <laughs> you actually thought that was my voicemail? <laughs> That's the oldest twig in the book. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, you, you got me. You yeah, yeah, I am. So what's up? Look, Jonathan, I need something. What's wrong? Your wife need a real man to please her? What? No, Jesus. Jonathan, do you still have that Ken doll? You mean my 1997 limited edition Together Forever Ken doll? Only open once? Museum quality? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that one. <laughs> of course I have him. He's laying on my bed right now. Okay, can I have him? <laughs> do you know how rare he is? Can you have him? He's only one of 69 made, and he's number 69, my favorite number. Okay, so can I have him? <laughs> I mean, I guess I'd be willing to make a trade. What do you want? I want you to send me nudies of your wife. Do you really think my marriage is that good that I have nudes of my wife? You can make it happen. No, and look, Jonathan, that's not happening. It's not even for me. It's just for somebody else that wants it. Well, there is something. I would trade. Okay, what do you want? And they're kids, so don't be weird. You may have heard of it before. The year 2000 performance collection, Britney Spears, Barbie doll. The short hair version. Yeah, believe it or not, I haven't heard of that. Yeah, well, either get the doll or the trade off. Okay, look, he wants some kind of Britney Spears Barbie doll. Wait, wait a minute. I think my daughter has one of those. Well, well then go, go grab it from your daughter and make the trade so that we can give him the doll back so he can go bowling. I, I mean, I could, but look, what am I even getting out of all of this? You get to see Eddie Ramirez lose in the bowling championship. Huh. Yeah, you're right. I do hate him. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. Just give me a few minutes. All right, Cody, you hear that? He's going to try to get the Ken doll. Oops, I rode a pony again. Hey, Penelope. What do you want, Dad? Oh, I see you playing with your Britney Spears Barbie. Yeah, she's my favorite Barbie doll. Uh-huh. So can I have her? What? Why? Penelope, you don't understand. This Barbie could prevent Eddie Ramirez from winning the bowling championship tonight. What are you talking about? Look, I will do anything for that Barbie. Anything? Yeah. I want to meet Justin Bieber! What? Why that of all things? Dad, Justin Bieber's selling meet and greet tickets. <sighs> okay, how much are they? $10,000. Holy shit. No, no, that's not happening. Fine, then you're not getting my Barbie. Uh, I, I, I actually, actually, you know what? I just remembered. I actually know Justin Bieber personally. You do? I do. I, I used to, I used to brush his teeth. You did? I did. I was his dentist. I brushed his teeth all the time. I, I bet I could get him to come here right to your room. Oh my God, Justin Bieber's gonna be in my room? Uh, hold on, we'll see. Oh man, who am I gonna find to pretend to be Justin Bieber at this time of night? Ooh. Nah, spare change. Hey, hey, buddy, uh, look, I'll give you 20 bucks if you'll pretend to be Justin Bieber to make my daughter happy. Huh? You want me to act like a beaver or flop like a fish? <laughs> yeah, sure, all, all of that, yeah. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God! 
Hey, Penelope. What did Justin Bieber say? He's actually right outside your door. <laughs> Calm down. See, Justin Bieber gets nervous, and he doesn't like it when people look at him. So you're gonna have to wear this blindfold. I can't see him? No, no. He, he's afraid of eyes. So you're gonna have to wear a blindfold. But you can still hear his beautiful singing voice. Oh my god, Justin Bieber is gonna sing to me? Yeah, maybe. I hope so. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen. Just make sure that you wear that blindfold, because if he sees you see him, he's gonna freak out, okay? Okay, Dad! I'm All so right. excited! Hey, honey, you got that blindfold on? Yeah, Dad. Okay, no peeking, because Mr. Bieber will go crazy. Okay, Dad, just bring in Justin Bieber. Okay, Mr. Bieber, you can come in now. <laughs> I'm the Beaver Man. Oh, my God, it's Justin Bieber. I like beavers and chewing wood. Sing the baby song. Baby Beaver Doot 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 Baby Beaver Doot 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 That's not the baby song. <laughs> Justin, you're so funny. Sing, sing the real song. Uh, beavers and dams. Be beavers and dams. Wait a beavers second. That's not Justin Bieber. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Uh, he he just he has to wear a disguise when he goes out in public because he's so famous. He, he doesn't want people bothering him. So so he chose to disguise himself as a stinky bum. He smells like one too. Yeah yeah he does. But you met Justin Bieber, so can I have that Barbie now? Can Justin stay the night? I'll be the coolest girl ever. Oh honey, I I don't think you want that. Oh nice warm comfort bed. Ooh and a pony. Oh my god. Uh, okay, you know what? Sure, yeah, I'll just take this Barbie and leave. Ugh, beavers and dams, beavers and dams, beavers and dams, beavers and dams. All right, I got the Britney Spears Barbie. Wait, where's your friend? He's crying in the bathroom. You better get him, because my brother's almost here with the Ken doll. Oh, hey, Pukian guy. I have your Ken doll right here. Great, here's your Barbie. <gasps> you actually found her? And in pristine condition. Look at those feet. Yeah, okay, why did you even want her? I have my reasons. What happened to this Ken doll? Oh, he fell in a blender. Well, I don't want my Ken being blended up. He's not gonna get blended up. Just go be weird with Britney Spears. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got Ken back. Cody can be happy now. Okay, now you boys get to that championship and kick Eddie Ramirez's ass. You don't have to ask us twice. <laughs> Cody, get in here. What do you want, guys? Look, Cody, Ken's back. Ken, you're back. Oh, I miss you so much. How is this even possible? The doctor's brother had a Ken doll, so he brought him for you. No, oh, Ken, I love you so much. So, Cody, I got a question. So your old Ken doll got blended up. So is this a new Ken? No, this is Ken. So, but it's a different Ken doll, so it's not the same Ken you made all those memories with. Uh, the memories just transferred to him. It's Ken. What? W w but no, no, no. That's not the Ken doll that you made the memories with. That old Ken doll's right here. I don't know what you're talking about. This is Ken. Look, guys, let's just cut the chit-chat. We still have time to get to the bowling championship. What bowling championship? Well, you, you know, the bowling championship. We have to beat Eddie Ramirez. Who the hell's Eddie Ramirez? Well, he, he's the bowling champ. He, you guys, you guys were all talking about the bowling championship. We're not in a bowling league, Cody. How can we play in a bowling championship if we're not in a bowling league? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I thought that was weird, too, but you guys were really confident. You, you guys had bowling shoes. There was a bowling ball. Well, we don't have bowling shoes or a bowling ball because we're not in a bowling league, Cody. Yeah, I've only been bowling one time in my life, dude. Yeah. W wait, no, 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 no. The, the doctor knew about it, and that's why you took Ken for me in the first place is because I didn't want to bowl. But why would we want you to bowl if we're not in a bowling league, Cody? Wait, wait, wait what the fuck is going on? For dinner. What the? Ew. Gross. But should it be? Why is our pancakes green? I put broccoli in your pancakes so it could be healthier. Just eat it, God. That's so gross. Yeah, I'm not eating this. Me either, dude. You're right, guys. We don't have to eat this. Yeah. This stuff is gross. Yeah. Let's go on strike. Yeah. Let's make out. No. Let's throw our plates at the wall. Yeah. 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 That was loud. Yeah. Let's go tie up Chef PB, steal his credit card, and order pizza! Yeah! Julia, what's all that ruckus in there? Let go of me, let go of me, come on! Where's your credit card, Chef PB? What? Ow! Where is it? I'm not giving you my credit card, thing. Ow! Stop hitting me! Ow! Now hold on, Junior, you're being a little too rough with him. So what are you gonna do, four eyes, huh? Ow! He spit in my mouth! Ew! Yeah, that's what Daddy likes. Now where's your credit card, you dirty little pig boy? I'm not giving you my credit card! Alright, Cody, I think it's time for you to calm down. I'm sorry. Where Junior, is it? where is it? I'm not giving it to you. Ow! Stop hitting me. Uh, Junior, I found his wallet. Oh, we found your wallet. Give me my wallet. Don't take my wallet. Ow! In the closet you go. No, please, not the closet. It's not that bad, Chef Pee-Pee. I've been in there my whole life. Let go of me, guys. Let 
want me to call Please, 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 help! <laughs> okay, guys, let's go order some pizza! Yeah! Eskimo kisses! Get off me, Cody! Okay. Okay, guys, where should we order pizza from? Well, there's so many places to choose from. There's Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut. Oh, look at the commercial! Hey there, my name is 30 Second Sammy, and not for the reason you think. Have you ever needed a pizza in 30 seconds? Like, you just can't wait? You need a pizza right now? Well, just call 30 Second Sammy's, and we'll have a pizza delivered to you within 30 seconds or less. That's a guarantee, or the pizza's free. How do we get the pizza to you so fast? Well, we don't stop for red lights. We don't stop for school buses. I ran over my dog. Everyone's in danger. We have no regard for human life, only pizza. I have pizza coursing through my veins. My wife gave birth to a full pepperoni pizza. So just call 1-800-FAST-PIE. That's 1-800-FAST-PIE. Guys, let's order from there. They can make a pizza in 30 seconds. There's no way they can make a pizza in 30 seconds. My dad said I was made in 30 seconds. Mine too, dude. All right, I'll call him. All right, guys, I ordered the pizza. What kind of pizza did you order? Cheese. Not what your teeth look like. What kind of pizza did you order? Cheese. Not what's in your ears, Cody. What kind of pizza did you order? No, I ordered a cheese pizza. You could have just said that. Oh, that must be them. They came fast. Yeah, my dad did too. That's how I was made. Hello? Hey there. Got your pizza here in less than 30 seconds, so I get to keep my job. <laughs> Woo! I dragged myself up. Here's your pizza. All right, thank you. Uh, you look familiar. Oh, I don't know about all that. I moved down here about a week ago from up north, so I'm sure you don't know me. <laughs> well, how old are you? Oh, I'm 43. I just don't have much to show for it. As you can see, I'm still delivering pizza. <laughs> I didn't go to college. Stay in school, kid. Uh, okay. All right, guys, the pizza's here. Oh, good, I'm starving. The delivery driver was really weird. Oh, no, did he look like the kind of guy that would put his balls on our pizza? Kinda. Even better. No, Cody, you don't understand. He looks just like you. Huh, that's weird. God damn it! They gave us garlic sauce instead of marinara sauce! Ooh. Cody, you don't understand. I think you might be his long-lost son. But I'm not. Wait, he looks just like Cody? He looks just like Cody. I think that's Cody's dad. Wow, really? Look, guys, can we just eat our pizza? But, Cody, he looks just like you! Look, Junior, there are seven billion people in the world. Two people are bound to look the same eventually. Can you please just go look at him? Junior, he already left. The only reason he'd come back is if we ordered another pizza. Yeah, we need some more marinara sauce. Yeah, yeah, order a pepperoni pizza. I'm tired of looking at the cheese pizza. It looks like Cody's teeth. I'm on it, dude. Guys, this is a waste of pizza. Yes, one large pepperoni pizza. And don't forget the marinara sauce this time. God! All right, the pizza's on its way, guys. Cody, are you ready to see your real dad? Junior, I think it's ridiculous that you ordered another pizza just because you think the pizza guy looks like me. He looks just like you, Cody. He's your long-lost father. This is stupid. I'm going to the bathroom. Well, you gotta hurry up. The pizza's gonna be here in like 20 seconds. Oh, no, he's here. Cody, hurry. Oh, I'll go see him with you, dude. Yeah, come see him. Come see him. Hello? Guess who's back? You guys really must like your pizza. I can't have it myself because of the diabetes, but I sneak a piece every now and again. <laughs> dude, he looks just like Cody. I was trying to tell you that, Joseph. Well, anyway, here's your pizza. Hold on. I got to check something real quick. A garlic sauce? Really? Garlic sauce? Where's the goddamn marinara sauce? Yeah, there was no marinara sauce on the order. I ordered marinara sauce. I said it three times. I'll cut your face! I'll murder your first house! You're yelling so hard, your hat's coming off. My mom, where's my marinara sauce, bro? Marinara sauce! Uh, let go of me, let go of me! I'm gonna kill him! Calm down, Joseph. Marinara sauce! What the hell happened? The delivery guy forgot the marinara sauce and Joseph freaked out on him. Oh, well, does he look like me? Yeah, he looks like you. What, really? Yeah, he could totally be your dad. I told you, Cody. <sighs> okay, well, now I have to see this guy if you both agree he looks like me. Well, he ran away because Joseph yelled at him. Well, how about I order another pizza and this time they better not forget the marinara sauce. <sighs> Guys, don't order another pizza. We already have two. Well, Joseph freaked out and destroyed the pepperoni, so we only have one. Oh. Well, so order a pineapple pizza this time, Joseph. Okay, I'm on it, dude. Yes, one large pineapple pizza, extra marinara sauce. And I swear to God, if you forget the marinara sauce, I'm going to blow up the whole place. I'm crazy and I mean it. Oh, my dad has a whole bunch of fertilizer in his backyard. Ah! All right, they're on the way, guys. I don't think threatening them is going to help. Uh, they're here. I think it did help. Okay, Cody, are you ready to see the guy that looks just like you? Hello? Hey there, somebody order a pizza and call in a bomb threat? That would be me. Yeah, don't do that anymore. Did you get the marinara sauce though? Oh yeah, we got it. We didn't want the place going kaboom, but uh, you did say something about your dad having a bunch of fertilizer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad's dead though, so around the grave. Oh, okay, that's good. Wait, wait where's the other pizza delivery guy? Oh, well he was assaulted last time he came here, so you've been banned from 30 Second Sammy's. If you call that number, I'm just gonna show up now. But we wanna see the other guy! Well, that's not gonna happen, because his life is obviously in danger here, so here, here's your pizza. Oh, come on, guys. Let's go. Uh, now how are you going to see your real dad, Cody? It's not that big a deal. Yes, it is. He looks just like you. He's not my dad. Stupid-ass box! Oh, oh, my bad, guys. 
I'm just on edge today. Thank God I got my marinara sauce. <laughs> I would have had to kill somebody. But, but Cody, I, I want you to meet your real dad. He's not my dad. Well, yes, he is. Joseph, is it his dad? I don't know, dude. I can't remember. See, see? He doesn't remember. Come on, Cody. We have to see him. Junior, we can't see him. He's banned from delivering pizzas to your house. <gasps> That's it, Cody. We go to your house and order a pizza so you can see him. What? No, I'm not doing that. And then also your mom can see him and we can ask your mom if she banged him. I'm not asking my mom if she banged the pizza guy. But, dude, don't you want to know? Yeah, don't you want to know you're the son of a pizza man? What? No, I don't actually. Ooh, I got a test to see if you're his son. Um, spell pizza. What? Spell pizza. Why? Because only pizza men's son can spell pizza. What are you talking about? Everybody knows how to spell pizza. Then spell it. Okay, P-I-Z-Z-A. You're his son! I knew it, dude! I knew it! No, everybody on Earth knows how to spell pizza. Not a newborn baby. Okay, you know what? I'm going home. Okay, we're gonna follow you and order the pizza. What? No! Well, come on, we wanna see the pizza guy! You gotta see your own father! Okay, if it means that much to you, you can come with me. Yeah, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Ooh, let's go! Okay, guys, we have to be quiet. I didn't ask my parents' permission to have friends over. Boy, what did I tell you about inviting your friends over here without permission? Sorry, Dad. No, no, no. Ain't no sorrys in this household. You know what you gotta do now. Yeah. Yeah, eat this bar so. Eat it? Yeah, my dad doesn't understand the right punishment for things. Yeah, and I'm gonna check your mouth in five minutes. I better see bubbles on that tongue. Yes, sir. Well, you don't have to listen to him. He's not even your dad. Junior, you don't want to get me in even more trouble. I'm gonna have to eat two bars of soap. Okay. Let's just go to my room. Are you really gonna eat that bar of soap? No, I'm just gonna put it with the rest. So wasteful. If you wanna eat a bar of soap, be my guest. I mean, I left my marinara at Junior's house. I totally would, though. Um, Cody, are you ready to order the pizza? Uh, yeah. What kind of pizza do you want? Pepperoni. Okay. Yes, one large pepperoni. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, the pizza's on its way. Cody, are you ready to meet your real dad? He's not my real dad. He's better than the dad that's trying to feed you bars of soap. Yeah, I guess. It's here, it's here! All right, Cody, you have to get ready. You have to look really nice for your dad. Um, let me fix your hair. Uh-huh, you look really good. Come on. Okay. All right, Cody, I think you should answer the door because you haven't met your dad yet. He's not my dad, but okay. Hello? Hey there, somebody order a pizza? Yeah, I did. Wanna see a joke? No, oh, ow. I'm the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Oh, God. <laughs> because the box is leaning on top of my head. Yeah, I get it. It's just awful. <laughs> Ooh, everyone in the office likes a dead joke. Junior, this guy's a dork. But he's your dad, though. Boy, what did I tell you about inviting more friends to this house without my permission? But no, he's not a friend. He's just a pizza guy. Oh, uh, no. Nah, you ain't eating pizza in this house. You only eat soap today. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hope he doesn't drop that bar of soap. <laughs> I get it. I get it, gay joke. That's hilarious. <laughs> You're funny, even though I wouldn't trust you around kids. How about you come in here and eat pizza with me? Oh, I really shouldn't. I'm on the job. Except my offer, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> so, Cody, how does it feel that you met your real dad? He's not my real dad. He's a dork. Like father, like son. What, no, he, he's ugly. Like father, like son. What, no, no, I just mean he's weird. Like father, like son. Look, if you say that one more time, I'm going to hit you with this bar of soap. Like father, like son. Who was at the door, honey? Oh, baby, just the funniest saltine I've ever met. Hey, don't forget the cheese whiz for those saltines, friend. <laughs> See, baby, he's hilarious. He's bonkers. Gary? Judith? Wait, wait, baby, you met him before? Oh, wait, you must have been to one of his comedy shows. Yep, yep. Well, she's been to one of my shows, friend. Oh, this is awkward. Wait, what's wrong, baby? You look befuzzled. Um, Tyrone, there's something I have to tell you. Fourteen years ago, I ordered a pizza, and this man delivered it, but I couldn't pay for it. Oh, so he gave it to you for free. Respect, respect. Who did he Helping a woman out of need, I like that. Uh, no, I paid for it, and I've been paying for it for 14 years. Wait, he put you on a payment plan for 14 years for a $20 pizza? Let me do the math. 20 divided by 14, that's 11 cents a month! Well, Man, give me my respect back. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. No, no, Tyrone, what I'm trying to say is you're not really Cody's daddy. Yes! What are you talking about, woman? I am Cody's daddy. I look just like that boy. He looks just like me, I mean. Well, come in here, Cody. See, see, he wore the same glasses, uh, he got my nose, and we got the same skin color, woman! Cody, this man Gary is your real daddy. What? I'm a father? Well, I didn't know I had it in me. Wait, Mom, I, this guy can't be my real dad! Yeah, I agree with Cody! He's not his real daddy! I will fight him to the death over Cody! Oh, well, I don't condone violence. Oh, you condone it today, we going outside to fight, come on! Oh, I'm sure there's a peaceful way we can settle this. By me ripping your head off, come on! Hey, we're doing this. Hate to have to do this to you, funny man, but I gotta knock you out. I'll have you know I'm a yellow belt and crop my gall. Purple nipple! Ah, my nipples! My number one weakness! Two men fighting over me. Oh, boys, I'm not worth it. Ah. Oh, 
my head hurts. What happened? Oh, you were uh, you were delivering pizzas and you get hit by uh, what's that called? By a car. Yeah. So any memories you have from the last five minutes or so didn't happen. But but I have a son. No, no, you know you don't. You don't have a son. No, that was a delusion. That never happened. Uh, are you sure? Because then no, I'm sure. I'm, I'm totally sure. Nope, nope. None of that happened. So just go. Get out of my house. This is my house. All right. Well, I mean, you are the doctor. Thanks, Doc. Is that good? Appreciate that, doctor. Good looking now. Yeah, I don't mind lying for money. I hope you don't mind. I gotta make sure this is real. Yeah, we're good. Uh, thanks for rocking his shit, Dad. Anytime, Cody. Anytime. I would knock out anybody for you, even a bully. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, now go in your room and eat that bar of soap before I knock you out like your daddy. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? What was all that noise? Oh, uh, I, I asked the pizza man if he was my dad, and he said no. He said no, but he looks just like you! Yeah, yeah, I know, but we did a DNA test, and it turns out he's not my dad. He's not?! I could've swore he was your dad! Yeah, I thought so too, but no, no, he's not. Oh, that's a bummer. I wonder who your real dad is. Yeah, well, what do you want to do for the rest of the night? I don't know. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Julia! Let me out, please! Tonight is the school prey of the three riddle pigs, and each one of you is going to act in the prey. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to walk around and pass out the costume for the character that you're going to prey. What? A school play? I love theater. I hope I get the lead role of the wolf. How? Dude, that's a horrible wolf. But I should be the wolf. He blows houses down, and I love to blow things. You're going to be a pig just like your mom, Cody. Ha! Like mother, like son. All right, Penelope, you're going to be a pig. Ha! You're gonna be a pig! Hey, teacher, do you have a washing machine costume so she can wash dishes like a girl? You're such a misogynist, Junior! No, uh I don't massage people for a living. Settle down, settle down, Crass. Junior, you're gonna be a pig, too. Well, ha ha, Junior, you dork! I don't want to be a stupid, dumb pig! All right, Joseph, you're also gonna be a pig! Aw, this sucks! Oh, yeah, that means I get to be the wolf! I knew it! I knew he'd see the greatness in me! And Cody? You're gonna be a tree. What, a tree? There's not even a tree in the story! Well, that's where they get the sticks from. What? what? And Jeffy, you get to be the big bad wolf. Oh, I get to be the big bad wolf? I'm in your huff, and I'm a puff, and I'm a blow your house down! What do I get to be, teacher? You get to be the insurance adjuster that files the claim for the two blown down houses. Yes! What? Jeffy gets to be the big bad wolf? Oh, come on, teacher! Jeffy couldn't blow his own birthday candles out of his life dependent on it! I am a professional blower! Do you want me to come up there and show you how good I am at blowing? Settle down, Cody! The role that you are assigned is the role that you have to play. There'll be plenty more school plays in the future. So go home, study your lines, and be here tonight for the prey. Make sure you invite your parents. What lines? I'm a tree! Trees don't talk! They just stand there! Calm down, Cody. At least you didn't get cut from the play. <sighs> Junior, that's not funny. No one asked you, Cody! That wasn't a joke, that's just how he says ask. Wait, I said a joke? Uh, all right, come to my house and study your lines, Cody. What, what lines? Guys, this is so cool. I know, right? We're gonna be like real life actors. Does this costume make me look fat? Everything you wear makes you look fat. Ugh. Guys, this is bull crap. What's wrong, Cody? My script just says stand stage right. I don't even do anything. What do you expect the tree to do, Cody? I didn't want to be the tree. I wanted to be the wolf. Stop being a sap, Cody. Yeah, learn to branch out and play other characters. Aw, guys, leave him alone. But see, why can't I just make tree puns like that? Then I'd at least be saying something. Because trees don't talk, Cody. Look, the only cool thing about this tree costume is that it has a spot for my junk. Oh, look, Cody, we have to go over our lines. We have to know this by tonight. All right, start at the top. This sucks. Our parents kicked us out of the house. Threw us right in the mud. Mom doesn't give an oink about us. What? I want to make sure you're doing your job right. No, I know how to stand still. It's not that hard. All right, guys, I think I know our lines. Let's go to the play. We didn't even go over the whole thing. Oh, my God, Cody, do you not know what you're supposed to do? No, I, I know what I have to do. All you have to do is stand there. I wish I had an easy job like you. No, Junior, I know what I have to do. See, you're the root of the problem, Cody. Yeah, root of the problem, like a tree. <sighs> this is so dumb. No, it's not, Marvin. We need to be here to support Jeffy. It's just a dumb elementary school play. We don't have to be here. Yes, we do, Marvin. It's art. Hey, my son's the tree. Yeah, he gonna be the best damn tree out there. I guarantee it. Okay. Whoa, the set looks so cool! Yeah, dude! What, what the hell is this? There's already a tree here! What's the point of me? See, this is how useless I am! I can be replaced by a piece of paper! Calm down, Cody! Yeah, you're distracting us and we're trying to go over our lines! Alright, kids, the show starts in one minute, so don't rip me down! Uh, where am I supposed to stand? You're a tree, Cody. You stand right there. You don't move. 
Jeez, I hope I remember all of my lines. Oh, look, my dad's here. Oh, good, and my parents are here, too. I know my dad's looking down on me from heaven, or up from hell. Oh, go, go, the, the, the show's starting. Get, get your lines, get your lines. Oh, thank God it's starting. Let's get this over with. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, the three little pigs. This sucks. Our parents kicked us out of the house. Threw us right in the mud. Mom doesn't give an oink about us. So what do we do now? Well, we, we, we are pigs. We are pigs. Don't have a home. Don't have a home. Gotta build our own. Gotta build our own. Do, do, do. do. We, we, we are pigs. We are pigs. Don't have a home. Don't have a home. Gotta build our own. Gotta build our own. But where are you gonna get the supplies to build a house? Did that tree just talk? He wasn't supposed to. Shut the hell up, Cody! I just wanted to say something. But trees don't talk! I know. Well, guys, we need to build us a house. Sure do, dude. But what should we build our house out of? I think we should build our house out of straw. No, dumbass. We should build our house out of sticks. Sticks? Did someone say sticks? I have sticks. I'm no, a tree. Cody, get back in your spot. I think we should build our house out of bricks. Well, we can't decide on a material. Ooh, I have an idea. We should all build our own house. That's a good idea. Okay, we will all build our own house. Just make sure you don't hog all the materials. <laughs> and done. I just finished building my house out of straw. Home sweet home. Rawr, I'm hungry for some piggies. Ah, it's the big bad wolf. He's known for eating piggies. I'm going to hide in my house. I bet there's some piggies in this house. There's some piggies in this house. There's some piggies in this house. Hey, piggy, let me in. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. Well, I'm a huff and puff and blow your house down. No, please don't do that, please. <laughs> ah! You blew my house away. Why would you do that? It looks like I'm eating bacon tonight. Well, first ooh, you ooh, gotta ooh, catch ooh, me. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not even what a wolf sounds like. Oh, man. I love my new house made out of sticks. Ah, Joseph. I mean, piggy brother, help. What's up, dude? The big bad wolf just blew down my house. Well, I could have told you that would happen. You made your house out of straw. Can I please stay with you? Sure, dude. The big bad wolf can't blow down my house. It's made out of sticks. <clears throat> I said, the big bad wolf can't blow down my house. It's made out of sticks. Come on, dumbass me! Whose son is this? Jeffy forgot his lines. No, he didn't, Marvin. He's just nervous. You got this, Jeffy! My son doesn't forget his lines. Your son doesn't have any lines. Jeffy, say your line. Jeffy, you have a line to say. Say it! I have to pee. Piss your pants. Say your line. I'm hungry for some piggies. Ah, go inside the house. There's some piggies in this house. There's some piggies in this house. Hey, piggy, let me in. Not by the hairs of a Shut up, Cody. Chin. Well, I'm a huff and puff and blow your house down. No, please don't do that, please. <laughs> ah! Why would you do that? It looks like I'm eating bacon tonight. Oh, man. I love my house made of bricks. Ah! What's wrong? The big bad wolf blew our houses down. Can we stay with you? Sure. The big bad wolf can't blow down my house. It's made of bricks. She's a brick house. Anybody know that song? <clears throat> the big bad wolf can't blow down my house. It's made of bricks. Well, call me Wrecking Ball because that bitch is coming down. Jeffy language. Ooh, Daddy, you made it to my play? Daddy, go come to Big Bad Wolf. Th that's real nice, Jeffy. Just focus on the play. You want to hear what the Big Bad Wolf sounds like? Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not what a wolf sounds like. Uh, Jeffy, please just say your lines. Jeffy, say your lines. Okay, I'm hungry for some piggies. Ah, right inside the house. There's some piggies in this house. There's some piggies in this house. Hey, piggies, let me in. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. Well, I'm a puff and puff and blow your house down. No, you can't do that. Why isn't it working? I told you he couldn't blow down my house of bricks. I guess brick was the best material. We're saved. The end. Wait, that's how it ends? Oh, no. I'm going to get me some piggies. 
Well, now that everyone's distracted, it's my time to shine. I'm, I'm an apple tree. Shut up, Cody. All right, everyone, that concludes tonight's show. Everyone give it up for Jeffy the Big Mad Wolf. And the three riddle pigs. And the tree. Yeah. All right, thanks for coming, everyone. Woo! Woo! Bravo, Jeffy. Yeah. Jeffy did so good. He destroyed the set. My son rocked the hell out of that tree. Yeah, you saw how he shaked them leaves, baby? I did. Guys, we totally killed it out there. Yeah, we did. We deserve a Tony. I don't know who that is, but yeah, we did awesome. Yeah, we did. Cody, shut up. You did awful. You were supposed to be a tree, and all you did was move around and talk. Well, I'm not born to stand still. I want to act. I want to feel. You're supposed to be a tree. You're not supposed to act or feel. Yeah, you're a horrible tree, dude. I can't wait for the next play. Yeah, me either. Yeah, maybe I can be a chair or something so somebody can at least sit on my face. Cody, why are you in such a bad mood? Well, I had a whole musical number planned, and nobody ever let me get to it. You want to sing as the tree? Yeah, do you want to hear it? Sure. I'm, I'm an apple tree Yes I am, yes I am Full of apples and their seeds And I grow my own leaves Yes I do cause I'm an apple tree Cause it was solo Simmons, I spy with my little eye something red. Uh, is it this little triangle? No. Uh, what about this little heat thing? Yep, that's it. All right, your turn. All right, I spy with my little eye something blue. Um, is it my shirt? No. Is it your shirt? No. Is it the light strip there? No. Uh, is it the cold setting? No. Huh, okay, I give up. It's your eyes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I just can't stop looking at them. I can't stop looking at yours. Oh, really? Attention all units, we have a noise complaint 1716 Camel Coochie Way. <sighs> Come on, Simmons, let's respond to this noise complaint. Uh, all right. Tell me where your money and jewelry is or I'm gonna kill both of you. I don't really remember. You hit me in the head with a baseball bat. All right, you, tell me where it is. It's under the mattress. You better not be lying. Don't move. Honey, call the cops. I can't. I'm a little tied up at the moment. How did I get roped into this? All right, Simmons, let's get this over with. I like knocking like that. Open up, police! We got a noise complaint! Help us, please! Oh my god, Simmons, they're calling for help in there. Let's go! You go first. No, you go first. No, you go ahead, buddy. No, I insist. You go ahead. No, age before beauty. No, but you're in charge here, mate. You go ahead. No, come on. Pearls before swine. Go ahead. No, you outrank me. You go ahead. Look, I'm not going in there first. I'm not going in there first. Okay, tell you what. Let's flip a coin. Heads, I go first. Tails, you go first. Okay. Crap, it was heads. Thank God you're here! Yeah, sorry it took so long. We were flipping a coin outside. I didn't want to go first. So who tied you up like this? He did! Huh? There's no easy way to say this, but he's not gonna make it. No, please, doctor, please. There has to be something you can do. Save my partner's life. I'm sorry, he was shot in the heart. <sighs> Nobody can survive that. He's gone. No! Hey, 
Hey, guy. Oh, hey, Chief. How you feeling? Can't you read the mug? Shitty. Now, I, I know there's a happy poop on the mug, but they didn't have a mug with a sad poop on it. Really, I just wanted a mug with a poop on it. I, I didn't really want a face, but that's all they had. So th There's actually nothing in the mug. I, I'm just trying to be dramatic because I'm sad that my partner died. <sighs> Gary, how do you think Simmons would feel if he saw you moping about him like this? My partner can't feel anything. He's dead. <sighs> Gary, come on back to the office. I have a surprise for you. Is, is it a sad poop mug? No, it's even better. Come on. Okay. Okay, guy. I know you're sad about losing your partner, so I'm assigning you a new one. Oh, come on, Chief. I don't need a new partner. Simmons was the only partner for me. Nobody could replace him. But you haven't even met the little guy yet. What? Little guy? Oh, come on, Chief. Don't tell me you hired a midget. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to go so slow just for him to keep up with me with his stubby little legs. People are gonna think I brought my son to work. It's just gonna be hilarious. Meet Officer Cuddlesworth! Oh, who's a good boy? You are. Yes, you are. Really, Chief? A dog? That's who you get to replace Simmons? That's just insulting. But he's such a good boy. He can smell drugs and bombs. He'll protect you. No, thanks, Chief. I think I'm better off on my own. Well, you don't have a choice. This is your new partner, and that's in order. Oh, c c come on, Chief. <sighs> what do you want? What, what do you... What? what? This? You, you stupid little toy donut? <coughs> what, do, what, <coughs> what do you want me to do? Throw it? <coughs> oh, okay. Go ahead. <coughs> I didn't even throw it, you idiot! Yeah, you're gonna make a real great detective. <laughs> Come on, you stupid mutt, let's get in the car. <laughs> All right, Stinky, this is my car, so no poo poos or pee pees in my car, got it? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. What, what, you want your stupid little toy? <laughs> well, this is not playtime, this is work time. You can have this once we catch a bad guy, okay? What? Oh, that man's speeding! You wanna pull someone over, boy? Huh? You wanna pull him over? <laughs> oh, he's a good boy, let's pull him over! Come on, let's get him! <laughs> All right, boy. We're gonna walk up to his car, and if you see a weapon, you chew his face off. Got it? Oh, Mr. Cuddlesworth, you're pissing in my car! What did I say? No pissing in the car! Bad! Bad, Mr. Cuddlesworth! Bad! I might as well you finish at this point. Jesus. Now my whole car's gonna smell like piss. Why don't you piss in his car? He's the bad guy, huh? How about you piss in his car if you have any piss left? You done? Okay, let's go get him. Excuse me, sir. I see you got a case of the Zoomies. Why were you going so fast? Well, I actually have a date tonight. You? Yeah, I swiped right on a couple baddies. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Cuddlesworth. I'm sorry, I think he wants to shit in your car. See, he just pissed all over mine, so that's the only thing I can reasonably assume. <laughs> what, what are you doing, Mr. <laughs> Cuddlesworth? <laughs> Get away from his trunk, you weirdo. That's weird. He's barking at your trunk. Why would he be doing that? You got, like, dog treats in there or something? Well, not exactly dog treats. Okay, I don't really like the way you said that. I'm gonna check your trunk. Oh, no, you don't. Ow, 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 he's biting me. Help me, Mr. Cuddlesworth, help me. Ow, 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 Jesus, why would you bite me? Stop you. Why are you gonna have hepatitis or something? Check in your trunk. All right, let's see what's inside this trunk. Help me, help me, help me. Oh, my God. His trunk is filthy. And also, you're little Billy Williams. You've been missing for three weeks. Nobody could find you. Thank you so much for saving me, Mr. Well, don't thank me. Thank Mr. Cuddlesworth. You hear that, Mr. Cuddlesworth? You're a hero. <laughs> thank Mr. Cuddlesworth. Officer Gary, you and your partner are just dynamite. You rescued a boy that had been missing for three weeks. Oh, sir, don't jerk me off. It was all Officer Cuddlesworth over there. And he's pissing. I, I didn't think he had any left in him. But you know what? He earned that piss. Well, I'm promoting both of you to lieutenant. What, really, sir? I mean, my pay's gonna go up a whole 50 cents. Are you sure the department can afford it? Well, we don't pay him because he's a dog, so I think we'll be just fine. Now you two get out there and kick some criminal ass. Wow, you know what, Mr. Cuddlesworth? I think I was wrong about you. You really are a good boy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's go clean up these streets. <laughs> What's wrong, Jeffy? Notice anything different about me, huh? You like to hit yourself? No, someone stole the pencil out of my nose. No one stole the pencil out of your nose, Jeffy. You probably just lost it. No, someone stole the pencil out of my nose. Was it you, huh, Baldy? What? No, I didn't steal it, Jeffy. Was it you, Mommy, huh? No, Jeffy. Well, since no one will admit to who stole the pencil out of my nose, I'm gonna call the cops. Well, don't call the cops, Jeffy. That's a waste of resources. <sighs> Hey there, someone call the cops? <sighs> yes, officer, I think my son did. What, you got a dog? Oh yeah, that's my new partner, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth. Why is he smelling my butt? He's looking for crack. Huh? Oh, uh, you get it? Like your butt crack, but also hard drugs? Well, what happened to your old partner? Oh, God, Simmons, why? 
He died. Aww. He died in my arms. It was very tragic. I still have nightmares about it. Thanks for reminding me. So what do you want? Someone stole the pencil out of my nose. What? Who did it? God Oldsworth, what are you doing? Now is not playtime. This is work time. No, 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 you give me this toy. You give me this toy. God damn it. Okay, we'll play fetch one time, okay? Go get it. Okay, he's still not very bright. Okay, what's up? Someone stole your pencil out of my nose! Oh, okay, Lieutenant Cottlesworth, smell his nose and see if you can get the scent of that pencil. <laughs> but, oh, he's he's pooping. He's pooping in my house? Uh, yeah, ho hold on, I'll, I'll clean it up. Ew, 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 it's so squishy, I can't resist the urge to squeeze it. Uh, what do I do with it? Well, throw it away in the bathroom! Oh, the bathroom's so far away, I'm just gonna stuff it in your couch. Well, don't, don't do that! Well, it's too late, I already did it, so what's up? Are you guys gonna find the pencil or not? Oh, yeah, right, that, okay, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth, smell his nose and get the scent of that pencil! <laughs> oh, I think he's got it, you, you got the pencil, boy, you get it? What? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth, what is that? That's not a pencil! Oh. That's another toy, you little rascal! You give me that. You give me this toy. Uh, are you gonna find my son's pencil or not? Uh, look, man, I got a pencil out in my car. You just want me to give him that? Yeah, yeah, go, go grab it until you found it. Uh-oh, Jeffy, I think he found your pencil. <gasps> he found my pencil? Is this your pencil? <gasps> it is! Thank you for finding my pencil, mister! Yep, that's what I do. Now, don't call me again unless it's a real emergency. Oh, we, we, we won't call you unless it's an emergency, officer. You hear that, Jeffy? <laughs> Come on, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth. Let's get you a puppy ice cream. <laughs> Who's that? Everybody breathe! Give me all your money! You! Yeah, ain't you the cop that I iced the other night? That was my partner! Oh yeah? Well, prepare to join us! No, don't shoot! You shot my dog! No, oh, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth, please don't die! I'm gonna kill you! No! Lieutenant Cuddlesworth, you can't die! Please! I can't lose another partner again! <laughs> no! Oh, he'll be alright, mate. No, he won't, Simmons! He got shot! He's dead! Just like... Y you Wait, Simmons, how are you alive? It was just a Nerf bullet, mate. It's not a real gun. Really? Well, that means that Mr. Cuddlesworth is okay, too? No? What? 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 You were just playing dead? You learned a new trick? Oh, you're such a good boy. I'm so glad I have my partners back. Hey, you want to go piss in the car? Come on, Simmons, let's go piss in the car. All right. Joseph, I'm bored. Me too, dude. Let's play a board game. Ooh, let's play Mousetrap. Okay. <laughs> what? That's not Mousetrap. Dude, it is. It's a Mousetrap. How do you play? Ooh, just touch the yellow peas. I'm good. Whoa, well, he's such a wimp, dude. Watch this. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, I love the pain. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Look what oh, I... Oh, hold on, Cody. His leg got stuck in a Mousetrap. Well, ow, how did that happen? We were playing Mousetrap. You want to play? I'm good. But I invented a dream machine. Well, a dream machine? What's it do? It lets you go inside of people's dreams while they're sleeping. Nuh-uh, liar. Yeah, huh, it does. Well, well, then how's it work? Well, you just put this black part on the head of whoever's sleeping, and then you put another one on your head, and it lets you go inside their dreams. Well, what if you get stuck in their dream? Well, all you'd have to do is just slap whoever's dream it is. So if you're in my dream, you'd slap me. So I slap you? Yeah. Ow! What? No, you slap me in the dream! Okay, so when we go in your dream, we slap you. No, you slap whoever's dream it is. So I slap you. No, it's the person whose dream you have, you're in. So if I'm in your dream, I slap you. But yes, but now, no, no, no. Look, if I was in your dream, I would slap you to wake up. But we're in your dream. But, but when, uh, no, out, we're not in my dream right now. Okay, but when do we slap you? Ooh. I want to slap Cody. Yeah, okay, slap no, him. No, it's not about slapping. Ow. Stop, stop slapping me. Okay? You said slap you. I said slap me in the dream if it's my dream, but we're not in my dream right now. Okay, so whose dream are we going to first? I think we should go into Joseph's dream. So we slap Joseph in Joseph's dream. Yes. Well, my dream is not going to be too fun, guys. Uh, okay, let's go inside Joseph's dream. Set him up with your machine. Okay. All right, we're all set up. So whenever Joseph falls asleep, we'll go inside his dream. Oh, dude, I'm so ready. Okay, Ken. If for any reason we don't wake up within an hour, push this emergency stop button, okay? Why would that happen? Well, I don't know. Maybe if the dream just goes really bad. Well, aren't we supposed to slap you if it goes bad? Well, no, we're supposed to... <laughs> Ow! <sighs> no, we're supposed to slap Joseph because we're in Joseph's dream. So if the dream goes bad, we slap Joseph, not Cody. Joseph. Okay, Joseph. Wait, my little thing fell off. Well, maybe if you weren't slapping me, that wouldn't happen. Okay, Joseph, go to sleep. Well, it's pretty hard for me to go to sleep. <laughs>
Wow, he fell asleep fast. Uh, uh, Cody? Where are we? It's so dark and scary. Joseph must be having a nightmare. Where is Joseph? <laughs> oh, oh, there he is. Oh, Daddy! I miss you so much, Dad! Oh, I wish you were here with me right now. He's having a dream about his dead dad. That's so sad. <laughs> Mommy? What? Mommy? Where are you, Mommy? What? Mommy! Mommy, where are you? Mommy? Where are you? I hear you. Where are you? Oh, mommy! Oh, come here, Mommy! Please! Please! Mommy, don't leave me! <laughs> ah, Cody, he's chasing his mom! If that was you and your mom, you would have already caught her. You know, because she's a hippo, she can't run fast. Junior, shut up! Oh, mommy! Where are you going? Killer clown? I hate to have dreams like him. Junior, let's wake him up. Oh, okay. Ah! Joseph! Thank God you guys are here. There's a killer clown trying to kill me. That's why we're going to wake you up. <laughs> ah, do it, Dan. Ah! Joseph, what was that? Oh, dude, I dream that every night. Joseph, those are called nightmares. Wait, there's dreams that are actually happy? Well, yeah, do you want to see one? You can come to my dream. Yeah, dude, sure. Okay, I just have to go to sleep. Uh, does anyone have some warm milky or a banky? What? Well, I can't go to sleep without my banky. Cody, go to sleep. Okay, can somebody at least rub my tummy? <sighs> lower. I'm not going lower. Okay, fine, I'll go to sleep. So we slap you if we want to wake up? Yes. <laughs> What is this place? Dude, I feel uncomfortable. Hey guys, welcome to my dream. This is what you dream about, Cody? Yeah, it's just one big party. Hold on, let me introduce you to the boys. That over there is Scrotom Hussein. This is Balls Aldrin. That's Rick. And this is Luke, get your ass out of the guacamole. Probably tastes better now, to be honest. Hey, you guys should help yourself to some chips. They're just kind of scattered around everywhere. Wait, wait, what? Oh, you need me to get up? Okay. What? Who's that? Oh, that's Todd. He's a freak in nature. Why does he have a gas mask on? So he can breathe. Where's Ken? Oh, he's up there keeping an eye out to make sure that nobody escapes. Why would somebody want to escape? It's your dream. Well, it's hotter for me if they don't want to be here. Dude, I'm ready to leave right now. Yeah, Cody, we want to leave. What, really? So soon? But we haven't even had the who has the tightest buns competition yet. Don't tell Ken, but it's Rick. See? Well, we want to leave, Cody. Okay, just let me finish my Red Bull. Hey, anybody want the rest of this before I shit can it? No? All right. All right, we want to go. Okay, I guess we can... Oh, no. What? Here comes Action Man. What? Who's Action Man? Uh, his real name is Zack, but he thinks he's hot shit. And to be honest, he kind of is. He has bulletproof underwear. What do you want, Zack? What? Bro, come on, you're always doing this! You're ruining my vibe! Who invited him? You know what, you guys are right. We should just leave. Wake me up. Okay, wake up, Cody. <sighs> I can't believe you guys didn't like my dream. I like my dreams more. I can't agree. Ow! We're out of the dream! I just like slapping you. All right, guys, let's go inside my dream next. Sometimes I dream I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> like that. Okay, go to sleep, Jim. Okay. <sighs> Yeah. Wait, dude, we're in the classroom! Wait, why am I so cool? This isn't that different from my dream. Oh no, guys, I have this nightmare all the time. It's that I'm fat, I'm at school in my underwear, and everyone won't stop making fun of me. Ha ha, Junior, you're so fat! See, guys? And also, Cody, you're the coolest kid in school. Well, that's not that different from real life. No, it's a nightmare. Guys, wake me up! No, I just want to see how this plays out. All <laughs> right, class, today we're going to be learning about why is Junior so fat? He is fat as shit, because he won't stop eating! Ha 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 ha! Come on, class, let's rap at Junior, because he's so fat! Ha 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 ha! Guys, wake me up! Hey, we all laughing at the fat kid? Now, what did I say about being so fat? Guys, wake me up! You know, it's actually illegal for you to be that fat fatty. Oh, uh, guys! You know what? You're actually under arrest for being so unbelievably fat. Guys, it's a nightmare! Yeah, Cody being the coolest kid in school is a nightmare. <laughs> ah! Guys, that was not my dinosaur dream. That was cool. I like that dream. I didn't like it, Cody. Uh, ow! Okay, look, I'm gonna go back to sleep so I can try to get the dinosaur dream. Hey! guys, what doing? Ooh, we should go inside Jeffy's dream. Hey, Jeffy, put that white thing on your head. Okay. Now go to sleep. <laughs> ah, guys, we're animals. Dude, I'm a cow. I'm a lion. Yeah, well, you don't tell the truth. 
Huh? Like, lion? All right, screw you guys. That was a good one. Ha, oh, Cody, you're a pig, so you're just like My mom, I know. I'm like my mom. I get it, because my mom is all fat animals, right? So Joseph's like my mom, too, because he's a cow. So my mom's a cow and a pig and a hippo and an elephant. I get it. She's fat. Wow, Cody, you're really going to call your mom fat? Dude, she gave birth to you. Yeah, she carried you for nine months just for you to call her fat. What, you guys were going to say it? I would never disrespect your mom. You get it, Joseph? I'm lying. <laughs> Uh -huh. But that was my joke. No, it was my joke. I just thought of it. Oh, dude, watch this. <laughs> Eat more chicken. Ah! That's the Chick-fil-A slogan. The slogan Ooh. thing they say. Get it? You get it, Cody? Guys, I just want to get out of this stupid dream. Okay, then wake Jeffy up. Well, we can't. We have to slap Jeffy. That's the only way to get out of the dream. All right, let's go slap him. Marvin, let's watch a movie. Hand me the remote. Okay, baby. Ugh, you're so slow. Baby, you're the one who married me. You knew I was a turtle. You knew I was going to be slow. I don't bring up your quack addiction. <gasps> hey, don't bring that up. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Daddy. I got suspended from school today. Jeffy. Why'd you get suspended, Jeffy? Because I was dragging my balls across my desk. Jeffy, you're grounded. Well, duck you, Mommy. Well, Jeffy, don't speak to her like that. You're going to your dungeon for 50 years. Oh, I hate my dungeon. But I'm hungry, Daddy. What do you want for dinner? I want wings. Well, you got two wings on your back because you're a dragon. Go to your dungeon. Okay, Danny. Oh. Hey, Jeffy. Oh, hey, guys. You like in my dream? Well, sorry we gotta do this to you, but we gotta wake you up. <sighs> guys, I had the weirdest dream now. I was a hippo. Well, we went through everyone's dreams. Yeah. Wait, wait, guys. Chef Pee-Pee's taking a nap downstairs. We should try to go inside his dream. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Pee 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 pee. All right, guys. There's Chef Pee-Pee. Hey, do you guys think he dreams about me? Like he's secretly in love with me and he dreams about me all the time? No. Let's find out. <laughs> what? Guys, we're in my kitchen. Oh man, oh man. I gotta hurry up with this burger. Lord Peep's gonna be mad. Is my food ready yet? Oh, yes, I'm almost done with dinner, Lord Peep. Hold on, hold on. Is the food ready? Oh, Jesus H. Christ, I need to hurry up. Where is my burger? It's right here, it's right here, sir. Oh, let me see. <gasps> A piece of bacon? Not on my burger? What's wrong with you? I know you see that. I know you see it. Oh, my bad, it must have fell out. I'm so sorry, sir. Hmm. Oh, you're bad, huh? You're making mistakes now? Uh, I'm not eating it. You <laughs> All I do is cook and clean, and I'm never appreciated. <laughs> wow, Chef Pee Pee's really mean in his dreams. Yeah, why is he being mean to my dad? Let's go mess with Chef Pee Pee. Okay. Ah, finally get the rest of my royal throne of cash. Hey, baby, what's my name? Ah, don't say anything. It's Lord Pee. Ah, I don't even want to look in your direction. But show me them toes. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. <laughs> Junior, what are you doing here? I sent you and your friends to 50 years of hard labor. Well, we escaped. Uh, uh, Royal Guard! Yes, Lord Pape. These three escaped. Take them back to the work camp. All right, you guys are coming with me. <laughs> Shepard, you're so dumb. Uh-uh, execute that one. Well, execute me. Oh, no, Junior. If you die in the dream, you die in real life. Well, I die in real life. Slap him, slap him. Uh. <laughs> How dare you try to assault me? Execute them all. Uh, uh, Cody, slap him, slap him. Uh, uh, I, I can't. He's too fast. Uh, 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 Lord Pape, you, you have a fly in your face. What? A fly on my face? Oh, I don't see anything. It's right there. It's right on your nose, though. Wait, wait, is a fly on my face? Is there a fly on my face? Oh, I don't see it. It's right there. It's right there. It's gonna bite you. Get the damn fly on my face. Get the damn fly on my face. You really want me to hit you? Get off my face. Right. <laughs> Julia, why did you guys ruin my dream? Chef Pee Pee, I'm really upset that I wasn't your hunky little manservant. Yeah, Chef Pee Pee, you treat people really mean in your dream. Because it's my dream. I get to live it how I want to. Well, I don't want to be a part of that. Hey, Chef Pee Pee, keep that thing on your head. I'm gonna go to sleep, and then you're gonna go to somewhere really cool. What? Huh? Where am I? Hey, Chef Pee Pee, welcome to the party. Help yourself to some guac, or maybe if you stick around long enough, you can have something that rhymes with that. Ew, no, Cody, I'm leaving. Ow! Come on, Zach, you always do this! Retired. Boyney, that wasn't a nightmare. He retired months ago. Oh, God! Boyney, you have that nightmare like every night! I know, and then I wake up and it's real. Oh, Boyney, it's okay. Do you want to fool around? That'll help you feel better. No, it won't, Karen. You know ever since Tom Brady retired, I've had no feeling at all down there. I might as well just donate it to somebody who can actually use it. Well, Boyney, do you want to watch Tom Brady highlight reels to help you fall asleep? 
Okay, boy, day. But not Super Bowl 52. I hate that one. Okay. Or when he lost in the playoffs to the Rams. Okay. Breaking news, okay? Tom Brady has announced he is coming out of retirement and he's going to continue playing football for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh my god, Boydie! Is this real? Boydie? Are, are you okay, Boydie? Bah, bah. Boydie, what's wrong? Bah. You know what that is? That's the goat! The MFA goat! The goat is back! Boydie, when did your clothes come off? I don't even remember. They just melted off of me from pure joy. Oh, what's this, Karen? Take a look. Oh, oh my God, Boydie! I've never seen it like that before! I know. It's like the Grinch's heart. It grew three sizes this day. See, this is what Tom Brady does to me. He makes me that happy. So, Boydie, how do you want to celebrate? I want to go run in the street. I got to tell everybody. But, Boydie, it's on the news. The people know about it. Hey, everybody. He's back. The gold is back. All of our problems are over now. Brady's back. Attention, everyone. Attention. I have crapped my pants. Now, who wants to wipe me? I'll start the bidding off at $10. $10. Do I hear $10? Mommy in the back, $10. Daddy up front for $15. $15. Daddy, $15. No, Jeffy, we're not going to bid on who gets to wipe your poop butt. <laughs> uh, I'll answer the door. Baby, you wipe him. What? No! Jesus, who is this? Hello? Marvin! <laughs> And what's going on, buddy? The goal is back. He's back. What? Tom MF and Brady. He's back. He came out of retirement. He did? Yeah, he said I'm not done bending over all the other teams in the NFL. He's like, mm, mm, take this every other NFL team. That's what he's doing tonight. And his supermodel wife. You know? Why are you naked? Oh, I got so excited when I heard the news that I just ran out of my house naked. You know, both of my grandparents are dead, but I'd rather have Tom Brady back. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Yeah, it's really exciting. I mean, he was only retired for like two months. I know. I don't know how I was going to live. But, you know, do you think he came out of retirement because he saw all the letters that I sent him saying that I was going to end it all if he didn't come back? I'm, I'm sure he read them. Yeah, I bet he did. <sighs> Never responded, though. Man, I'm so pumped. I just want to throw something. Hey, can I throw this? Uh, no, please don't. Sorry, I already threw it before you said no. Hey, you got a shirt I can borrow? It, I have a spare shirt inside. Oh, man, can I come in? I'm not done talking about this. Oh, sure, 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 buddy. Marvin, I wiped Jeffy. Thanks, baby. <gasps> Marvin, I didn't know you had a twin brother. Okay, that's just insulting. I am not nearly as bald as him. I mean, look at this. Look, look, how, look how bald that is. So bald and ugly. But you know what? I'm not going to get upset because it's Brady Day. I heard about that. He's back. That's right. He's back because he's the goal. High five. All right, screw me then. Hey, do you mind if I go into your fridge and get a beer? Thanks. Well, no, no, no. Uh, Marvin, what's he doing here? I don't know, baby. He just showed up to the front door naked. What? I don't, I don't know. Chef Pee Pee? Chef Pee Pee, please answer me. Hey, what's going on here? Ever since Chef Pee Pee found out that Tom Brady unretired, he hasn't moved. He just keeps making that face. Bah! Chef Pee Pee? Bah! Mm -hmm. What's he doing? Oh, he's doing that because Tom Brady's the GOAT and he's back! Bah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, Chef Pee Pee! His head exploded! Yeah, Tom Brady can make you feel like that. Oh, Chef Pee Pee! No! Speak to me, Chef Pee Pee! No, Chef Pee Pee! Hey, everybody! I'm back! Just like Brady! You said one beer. Yeah, yeah, well, Tom Brady said he was going to retire. So I guess sometimes shit just doesn't work out the way you think, huh? Because he said, one more beer a year. Well, one more year. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty cool. Hey, hey, why are you guys celebrating? This is a fucking goat, man. Well, I mean, it, it, it's just, it's, it's awesome, you know? It's cool. Cool? No, it's more than cool. It is astounding, okay? Yeah, it is amazing. So I, I, you know, what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take and lie, I'm gonna lie down, and then when I wake up, this better not be a dream, or I'm gonna be pissed. Just let him sleep, Marvin. <sighs> Who's that? It better not be another drunk person. Hello. Hey, it's me, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, what are you doing here? Well, I need your help, son. What, my, my help? What do you need my help with? Well, let me come inside and explain. Uh, okay, sir. Yes, sir. Who's at the door, Marvin? Tom Brady. What? Hi, I'm Tom Brady. Bah, bah, oh, no, bah. no, so, settle down. Settle down. Oh, oh, is he okay? Oh, well, he found out you were unretiring and he got drunk. Oh yeah, that'll happen. You know, today is a national holiday. It's National Me Not Really Retiring Day. Well, what do you need my help with? Well, ever since I retired, the Buccaneers signed a new quarterback and now they can't afford to pay me. Well, what do you want me to do about it? I want you to go to that new quarterback and break his kneecaps, you hear me? What, what, break his kneecaps? Yeah, if he doesn't have kneecaps, he can't play football. Who's the new quarterback? Um, something like Cack or Yak or Snack or something like that. But listen, you break his kneecaps or I'll 
I'll break yours. Uh, did Tom Brady just threaten me? I think he did. It's not a good thing, baby. But Marvin, we have to do it because when Tom Brady tells you to do something, you do it. We don't even know the name of the new quarterback. Mm. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm done answering the door. You go answer it. Okay. Hello? Hey, babe. Dak, what are you doing here? Guess you just signed a two-year, $100 million, fully guaranteed contract with the Buccaneers. I did. You see the money? You're the new quarterback for the Buccaneers? I sure am. They signed me just before Tom Brady came out of retirement, so I guess that old fart's just gonna have to sit on the bench while I'm throwing darts. Pew! Well, what are you doing here? Well, I just came to see if you wanted to run away with me. You know, be my trophy wife, live in a big mansion, occasionally get cheated on, but that's just the life of a sports wife, you know? Being with a big superstar like me. You know what, Dak? That sounds great. How about you go upstairs while I'll go pack my bags and tell my husband all about it? <laughs> with pleasure. Marvin Dak's at the door. What? He's the new quarterback for the Buccaneers. You have to break his knees. Uh, hey, poor. Did you just call me poor? Yeah, because you are. I am not poor. Oh, yeah? Well, how many hundred million dollars do you have? I have no millions of exactly. dollars. Exactly. That's why you're poor and I'm rich, because I have a hundred million dollars. So you're the new quarterback for the Buccaneers? Yep, sure am. Well, what about Tom Brady? Pff, he's old news. He should never have retired. Now I have his job. Well, what are you doing here, then? I just came to tell you that I'm stealing your wife. No, break his knees. Uh, 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 so, uh, how's your knees feeling? Oh, my knees? What a weird question, but my knees are great. I have very healthy knees. I have, like, a newborn baby's knees. Newborn babies can't walk. A newborn baby on steroids is what I meant to say. Look, man, my knees are unbreakable. Oh, well, uh, baby, before you run away with this millionaire superstar... Um, I want to fix this couch, because it, it, it is crooked. Oh, yeah, it sure is. So I'm going to grab a hammer to fix the couch. Pff, poor people have to fix their furniture. Rich people like me can just buy a new couch. Okay, I got the hammer. Make sure you hit it nice and good, Marvin. <laughs> That's what she's going to say to me later. Oh, look, there's a spot. Wait, whoa, bro, watch out. You almost hit my precious kneecap. Sorry, I was aiming for the couch. Huh, that was weird. You know what? I'm gonna hide my knees around you. Oh, baby, he's hiding his knees. Think of something, Marvin. Uh. If you're happy and you know it, show your knees. If, if you're, you're happy, happy and you know, know it, show your knees. knees. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why are you so interested in Dak's knees? Oh, dang it, I thought that was gonna work. Uh. Hey, Dak, while my wife packs up all her stuff and moves in with you, uh, you want to go throw the football in my house? Sure, little man. I'll play football with you. What, did your daddy never play football with you when you were a kid? <laughs> Maybe you both want to call me daddy, because she already does. Uh, yeah, you know what? Sure. You know what? Yeah, well, let's just go play the football in the house. Come on. Okay. All right, little man, catch. What, what was that? I just ate popcorn. Marvin, why are you playing games? You're supposed to be breaking his kneecaps. Baby, I'm distracting him by playing football. I hired a sumo wrestler to run at his knees. You did what? Oh, there he is. I'm going to break a knees. Ah! Dutch sack. Whoa, whoa, that was close. He almost hit my kneecaps. Hey, catch, Marvin. Ugh. Dang it, I thought the sumo wrestler was going to work. What now, Marvin? I don't know. The sumo wrestler is my last option. Throw the ball, loser. <gasps> I got an idea. What if when I throw the football, you throw a hammer at his knees? He'll be too busy focused on the ball, he won't look at his knees. Good idea, Marvin. Okay, I'm gonna get the ball. All right, Dak, are you ready? Yeah! All right, baby, after I throw the ball, you throw the hammer. Okay. Ah! Whoa, bro, is that a hammer? Okay, my, my knees feel unsafe. What? Baby, you missed! Oh, I'm sorry. I don't throw hammers every single day. Oh, look, we have to go break his knees. Come on! Dak, where are you going? I'm getting my money and I'm leaving. Buddy! Why? Well, why are you trying to leave? I'm starting to feel like you guys are trying to break my kneecaps. Well, why the break no. your kneecaps? Why, why would we do something no. like that? Well, maybe Tom Brady hired you to get me out of the way. No, that's, I don't know Tom Brady. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I mean, maybe. But what? I mean, look, Tom Brady hires to break your kneecaps because he wants to play and you're taking his job. And look, you suck. Just give him the job. What? Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. What if we got, we got to break your kneecaps? Well, you guys are never going to break my kneecaps. Never, 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 never. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, Marvin. He fell down the stairs. Do you think he broke his kneecaps? I hope so. Ooh, oh, God, you guys are so loud. Oh, man, my head hurts. What are you screaming about? A guy fell down the stairs. Oh, oh no. I'm a doctor. I'll go check on him. What are, uh, uh, I can't feel my knees. Uh, Dak, are you okay? Uh, my kneecaps. Hey, I'm a doctor. I can tell you what's going on. Uh, I think I have a concussion because I'm seeing two of you. Well, he just barred my shirt. We're not twins. Oh, yeah. This is pretty bad. Both of your kneecaps are broken. No, not my kneecaps. No. Well, Marvin, we did it. Yeah, we broke his kneecaps. Wait, you did that to him? Well, we were supposed I to, know. but it was like an accident. You, you know? guys actually did it. You sick bastards. <laughs> Tom 
Brady? Yep, that's me, Tom Brady. You guys are fucking weird. What? Tom, don't go! Tom! Jeffy, it's time for bed! Daddy, can I send it one more time before bed? Jeffy, what is this thing? Well, there's a little car in here, and when I hit this thing, it goes around the doodah. Then just do it real quick. Alright. Oh, Jeffy, you hit me with the car! Can I do it one more time? No, Jeffy, it's time to go to bed, come on! <sighs> Let's do all the things you want to do. Okay, Jeffy, just lay down and go to sleep. But I want fried okra. Wait, what, Jeffy? No, it's too late. You're not getting fried okra. I want it fried. You're not getting it, Jeffy. In my mouth. Jeffy, just go to sleep. I don't want to hear a peep out of you. Beep. Beep, beep. Jeffy, shut up. <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, did you just shoot me with a Nerf gun? No. Wait, Jeffy, what is that? Fried okra. Where'd you get fried okra? The fried okra tree. Jeffy, why don't you just eat that fried okra? Because that's yesterday's fried okra. You can't expect me to eat day old okra. But Jeffy, I don't know what's going on. Just, just go to sleep, please. Aww. All right, Jeffy. Good night. This door is so squeaky. Jeffy. I want fried okra. No, Jeffy. You have fried okra in your bed. Go to sleep. That door is so squeaky. I have to get that fixed soon. Oh, I just want to lay down and watch TV. <laughs> Jeffy's dumb toys on the couch. I'm going to play with it. It's broken. It's dumb. Jeffy, your dumb toy's broken. Jeffy, close the door. Okra. No, Jeffy, you're not eating okra. Okra. It's too late for okra. Close the door. Okra. I'm closing. It. Jeffy, I said close the door. Thank you. J J stop it! S stop it! Jeffy! It's so annoying! I'm getting it fixed! I'm calling somebody to fix it! Hey there, somebody call a handyman? I can do literally anything except give handies. So I guess I'm a not handyman. But I can fix things, so what do you need? Well, my son's door is Oh, really is this Hot Wheels? Oh, that's so sick. Hey, do you mind if I send it? <sighs> sure. Oh, so close! Oh man, that was cool. Hey, do you mind if I try again? Okay, fine, but like, yeah, let's know what's wrong. So, my son has this door that's really squeaky. I'm listening. The, 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 my son has this door that's really squeaky. Oh, right there, every time! Okay, I'm trying again. Oh no, but my son door is really squeaky, and I want you to fix it, and you're not even listening. Oh, okay, this thing sucks. Uh, what, what, what are you saying? So my son has this door, it's really squeaky, and I was wondering if you'd fix it. Oh, squeaky door? Yeah, that's easy, I can do that. Just show me. Okay, it's over here. All right, here's the door. Listen. Hey, hey, you know what that sounds like? My bed springs in college. Huh? Yeah, because I was doing a lot of this, you know? Yeah, I'm just kidding. I didn't actually have a girlfriend. But you know, good for the people who can get hoes. Can you please fix my door? Oh yeah, it's an easy fix. I just gotta use some of this WD-40. What's WD-40? You don't know what WD-40 is? Pfft, what an idiot. Everybody knows what WD-40 does. It, it, uh, it, 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 uh, it, it stops squeaks, removes and protects, loosens rusted parts, frees sticky mechanisms, drives out moisture, and is fatal if swallowed. Nah, I'm just kidding. But can you imagine, though? Just, and that's it. I'm gone. Dead. That's it. No more me. Can you please fix the door? Yeah, sure. You weren't going to stop me? Pfft, yeah, some friend. No, I just want you to fix my door. No, 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 no. You act like you're going to do it. Well, no, I don't want to do it. No, that. act like you're going to do it. No, 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 don't do that. Don't you know that's fatal? It's swallowed. You're going to die. Hey, hey, man, I care about you. I don't want you to do something like that. See, that's what you should have done. Oh, look, I just want you to fix my door. I know you're not going to do it. Okay, fine. Okay, I put a crap ton on there. Now let's see if the door squeaks. What? What the hell? It's still squeaking. Okay, okay, fine. I'll just put more on there. And you know what? I'll do all the hinges. Except for that one. That one's too high up. That one's higher than my ex-wife during the custody hearing. I mean, she still got custody of the kids because I had two DUIs. But let's see if the door squeaks. What? Oh, oh okay. What's going on here? Does this stuff not work? I bet it's not even fatal if swallowed. What, really? You weren't going to stop me again after all that? You know what? You're a bad friend. You deserve to have a squeaky door. Hmm. No, no, no. I, I just want you to fix my door, please. <sighs> okay, fine. Give me some peanut butter. Peanut butter? Who's the handyman here? Me or you? Go get the peanut butter. Okay. Why are you putting peanut butter on my door? Because it's going to muffle the squeak because it's so thick. Just like my ex-wife. 
You know, she was thick, fat. All right, whenever I close the door, you're not gonna hear the squeak anymore. What is that? What is that crunching noise? What? Oh, no, you didn't. What? You got extra crunchy peanut butter? Yeah, I like it. What, what, are you sick in the head? Who the hell uses extra crunchy peanut butter? I do. What, do you put glass in your cake? What? Do you, do you eat eggs with the shell still on them? No. Well, it's the same thing. Well, I just like extra crunchy peanut butter. Do you have creamy peanut butter? No, just that. Well, see, that's the problem. You used crunchy peanut butter, so now we got a crunch and a squeak. You just added a crunch to the squeak. Oh, well, well, can you just fix my door? <sighs> Go get me a belt. A belt? Yeah, because the door's making a noise, and when I was a kid and I was making noises, my mom would beat me with a belt, and that sure shut me the hell up. Well, a belt's not gonna work with a door. Go get the belt! Ugh. Okay, here's your belt. Oh, that's a good one. That looks like it's gonna hurt. Okay, hold on, let me get into character. <clears throat> Brookie, get your ass in here! Yes, Mommy? Brookie, let me see your report card! Have you been drinking, Mommy? Shut up and let me see your report card! What's this? All C's again! No son of mine's gonna be this average! Ugh, ugh, ugh. You think I like doing this? Well, I do! It hurts you so much more than it hurts me, and I love it! Okay, this door's definitely not gonna squeak after that. Oh, you want some more, do ya? Uh, uh, stop, 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 it's not gonna work. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, man. I've, I've never seen a door this squeaky in my whole life. Well, can you fix it or not? Hey, do you think there's more doors in the world or wheels? What? Like, in the whole world, do you think there's more doors or wheels? I don't know. Well, like, if you think about a car, there's, like, four doors, but there's also four wheels. So, I mean, I guess it kind of evens out there. But if you think about an 18-wheeler, there's so many more wheels than there are doors. Oh, and, like, in skyscrapers, like, there's a whole bunch of doors, but, like, no wheels. I mean, I guess there's wheels in the elevators. But then there's, there's, there's also doors, too! Well, in a car, there's also a steering wheel. Oh, my God, you're right, they got like five wheels. Oh, okay, so how many cars are there in the whole world? I don't know. Well, Google it. No. Okay, fine, I'll Google it. How many cars are there in the world? What? There's 1.4 billion cars. Wow, oh, okay, so you multiply that by five, that's that's like almost six billion wheels. Man, that's, that's, cra that's crazy. That's a lot of wheels. Oh, oh my God, you know what else has wheels? Trains, trains have wheels, and, and trucks, and buses, and, and not boats. Oh, they have a steering wheel. Oh my God, I got to Google so many things. Oh, no, 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 can you please just fix my door or not? <sighs> Listen, man, I think only God could fix this door. <gasps> That's it! We can ask God to fix the door! God is too busy to fix my stupid door. Well, it's worth a shot. God, please fix this door. <sighs> hey guys, what's up? Uh, God, I'm sorry for bothering you. Oh, not at all. I was just in my room looking at TikTok. You know, I've been alive forever. That's a really long time, so I'm pretty bored by this point. You know, I used to watch dinosaurs fight and kill each other. Now I just watch people lip sync and dance. <sighs> what happened? I'm gonna send a meteor and reset this whole mess. So what's up? Um, well, see, my door's really hey, squeaky. Hey, hey, God, are there more doors in the world or wheels? Oh, that's a really good question. It's actually wheels, but it's close. I knew it. Well, God, so my door's really squeaky. No, no, sorry, that's all the time I had. I gotta go meet Poseidon at Cracker Barrel. Ugh. You know those little peg games they have on the tables? I've never been able to figure those out. All these years, I've never been able to do it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. What the, what the, oh, great. Not even God was able to fix my door. Yeah, sorry. I'm just really obsessed about this whole doors and wheels thing. Glad I got my answer, though. Are you able to fix my my door or not? No, man, I don't think I can do it. This door's a lost cause. I knew it. I knew you couldn't do it. W excuse me? I knew you weren't good enough to fix my door. What? Hey, I'm pretty good. No, if you were good, you'd fix my door by now. I'm gonna go hire a real handyman. What? Oh, okay, okay, you want your door fixed? All right, fine. I'll fix your door. What, 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 what are you doing? I'm fixing it! What, 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 what are you doing? I'm fixing your door! No, you just broke my door! Oh, that was just part of the plan. Uh, I was gonna break the door so that I could buy you a new door that doesn't squeak. What? Oh, you gonna go get me a new door? I, I, yeah, I'll go get it right now. Oh, oh my god. Uh, here you go. Here's your new door. It looks just like the old one, except it doesn't have a big hole in the middle. Yep, and this one doesn't squeak. I guarantee it. Well, then install it. All right, here we go. All right, the new door's installed. But does it squeak? Let's find out. Oh, please, 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 please. Ah, you hear that? No squeak! But you did it! Yes, I am so good. Why am I so good? Well, mm. Where'd you get the door from? Oh, I took it off my daughter's bedroom. She doesn't need it. You know, she's getting older. She might start having boys over. So anything she doesn't there, she's going to have to do with no door. Well, how much do I owe you? hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? Yeah, man, I did a lot today. I, I had to steal my daughter's door. I had to relive childhood trauma. I did a lot. Okay, let me grab my wallet. Okay.
All right, here's your $100. Thank you. I think I'm gonna use this to buy a Hot Wheels set like this one. It's so cool. Oh my God, I didn't even think about all the wheels on toy cars. They got like four wheels and no doors. Oh my God. How many Hot Wheels cars do you think there are in the world? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna Google it. How many Hot Wheels cars in what? Oh my God, there's like four billion Hot Wheels cars. And it says if you lay them all end to end, it'll circle the entire globe four times. So there's four billion cars. That's like, that's like 16 billion wheels. No wonder the wheels are winning. That's so crazy. Oh, I didn't even think about Lego wheels. Oh, the wheels are just piling up. Ugh. Hey, Danny, why'd you replace my door? Because it wouldn't stop squeaking, Jeffy. Oh, you mean this noise? What? Jeffy, was you making the noise? Maybe. What, Jeffy, so we'd have to replace the door? Maybe. Well, Jeffy, why would you do that? Because I wanted fried okra. Oh, that sounds so good. Hey, you want to go to Cracker Barrel? I heard God's going to be there. Oh, my God. Leave. Both of you guys leave. Jeffy, are you ready for school? Sure I am, Daddy. What, Jeffy, what'd you do to your shirt? I cut it up because I wanted it to look like Swiss cheese. Jeffy, you can't go to school like that. Yeah, they're going to send you home for having holes in your shirt. Darn, didn't know that was going to happen. You're still going to school, Jeffy. But I don't have a shirt to wear. Sure you do, Jeffy. I got you this shirt for Christmas. It has a turtle on it, and it says, Turtly cool! Oh, that's so sick, Mommy. I want to put it on right now. <laughs> All right, Mommy. How do I look? You look turtly cool, Jeffy. Damn right I do. All right, Jeffy. Let's go to school. Danny, everyone's going to be so jealous of my new shirt. I'm going to pull major hose. Oh, that's good, Jeffy. Come on. Hey, idiot, what happened to your old shirt? Did you wipe your butt with it? You're just jealous you don't have a cool shirt that has words on it. Oh, yeah? What's it say? It actually says, turtly cool, and it has a little turtle with sunglasses on it. <laughs> it should say that you're returtled, or, or returned. Yeah, that's it. You're returned. <laughs> My mommy told me that I was turtly cool. <laughs> Your mommy dresses you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want this stupid shirt anymore. <laughs> well, calm down, Incredible Hulk. Well, wait a minute. You don't have any nipples. Hey, everybody. Jeffy doesn't have nipples. <laughs> it's not my fault I was born without nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeffy, why'd you take your shirt off? Because I thought that shirt was going to make girls give me major treatment, but all it did was get me made fun of. They made fun of your shirt, Jeffy? Yeah, because apparently it's not cool to be turtly cool. They called me retarded. <laughs> Marvin. Well, it's funny. Those kids are just mean, Jeffy. Well, I'm never wearing that shirt ever, 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 ever again. That's okay, Jeffy. I got you another shirt, and it says Mommy really loves me, and it has two whales hugging. You really want me to get made fun of, don't you, Mommy? Oh, it's cute, Jeffy. Is it gonna make girls turn into bobbleheads? I don't know about that, Jeffy, but go ahead and put it on. Okay, Mommy. I'll wear it tomorrow, but it better not get me made fun of. I see you got your old shirt back. Wait, that's not your old shirt. That's a new shirt. What's it say? Nothing. I want to know what your shirt says. No. No, show me your shirt. I'm not showing you my shirt. What does your shirt say? It says, my mommy Whaley loves me and it has a whale on it. <laughs> my mommy Whaley loves me? That's Whaley lame. Well, at least my mommy loves me. <laughs> well, what, is your mommy a whale? Hey, everybody, Jeffy's mom's a whale. <laughs> yeah, your mom's a whale. Shut up, Cody. Your mom's a whale. <sighs> I was just really glad the joke wasn't about me for once. <laughs> you gonna go to the ocean and see your mommy? Mm, that's it! I'm tired of this! <laughs> <laughs> what, are you gonna go kiss your mom's big whale lips? <laughs> it happened again! They made fun of your shirt again, Jeffy? Yeah, and they called you a whale, mommy! What? <laughs> Marvin! You eat a lot of Cheetos, baby. Marvin! Oh, look, uh, Jeffy, your mom got you another shirt. I did! It says hanging with mommy and has two slots. Oh, absolutely not. I'm done with shirts. They want to bully me? I'm going to become the bully now. Oh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> hey, loser, what's with the new look? Your balls finally drop? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get off. No, 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 stop, stop. No, no, oh no, he, he pulled my underwear up over my face. Oh god, I have doo doo stains on it. This is so gross and embarrassing. I'm gonna get pink guy. <laughs> Anyone else want some? Huh? Cody called your mom a whale. What, Junior? What, no, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yes, Daddy. Uh, he gave me a wedgie. Should have pulled harder. <laughs> Cody, you have rainbow pony underwear? Junior, they're not underwear, they're panties. Oh my god, I have those! 
clothes. Can I smell them? Ew, no, Junior, you're gross. Jeffrey, stop worrying everyone. Go to the principal's office now. Jeffrey, what are you doing? Jeffrey, 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 Oh, Jeffrey, why do you pull my underwear over my face? Ew, I got doodle stain. Ring, ring doesn't do my laundry. Ah! Hey, Jeffy, how was school? Shut up, nerd. Jeffy! What'd you call me? Nerd, because you are one. What, what, what are you doing? Jeffy, what are you doing? <laughs> he, he put my underwear on my face. Jeffy! That is it, Jeffy. You are grounded. Oh, you're, you're going to ground me? I'm going to show you grounded. What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Giving you a swirling, nerd. Wait, what? Jeffy, if you put my head in that toilet, you would... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeffy, dear God, please help me! <laughs> you had enough yet? I've had enough, I've had enough! All right. <laughs> Marvin, what's wrong? Jeffy gave me a swirly. He what? He put my head in the toilet. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because he's a nerd. Jeffy, that's not how we act. We treat others the way we want to be treated. Well, everyone wants to bully me, so now I'm going to be the bully. So no one mess with me! Marvin, what do we do? I'm calling the cops. He assaulted me with my underwear and a toilet. Hey there, somebody call the police? I heard an old lady say that at the barber shop today. She called me the police. I like that. I'm gonna say that from now on. Police. So what do you need? My son is bullying me. He gave me a swirly and he put my underwear over my eyes. <laughs> classic. Not classic, he's assaulting me. Well, I know how to deal with that kind of situation. You do? Oh yeah, I used to get bullied a lot in high school. Let me tell you a story. I always get bullied by this guy named Trevor. He used to call me names like Brace Face, you know, because I wore braces at the time. And he used to pull my pants down in front of all the cheerleaders. And they would all laugh at me and say, ha ha, tiny. So one day, I decided to get revenge on him by pulling his pants down in front of the cheerleaders. And boy, did that backfire, because he he was hung like a horse. All the girls liked him, even Miss Jenkins. I, I, I had a crush on her. She was kind of a hot teacher. But anyway, me and Trevor became friends after that because I helped him get so many girls by pulling his pants down. So I guess the moral of this story is what you should do is pull Jeffy's pants down in class. No, that don't do that. That's not right. That's that's not what I meant at all. Okay, okay, okay. Better example, better example. Okay. I also used to get bullied by this guy named Travis. Now, Travis was a real freak. He put a wasp nest in my backpack. So whenever I opened my backpack, a bunch of wasps flew out and they started stinging me. So I ran around the classroom taking my clothes off. And then everybody just pointed at me and laughed and said, ha ha, tiny. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So the next day, I put a wasp nest in his backpack. And then when he opened his backpack, he got stung by wasps and he ran around the class taking his clothes off. And boy, did that backfire because he was Packing. All the girls liked him, oh yeah. Except we didn't become friends because he was pissed that I put a wasp nest in his backpack. So the moral of this story is you should put a wasp nest in Jeffy's backpack. No, don't, don't do that either. That was, okay, that sucks too. Okay, 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 okay. But last example, this one's gonna be good. This will make sense, I promise. Okay, so I also used to get bullied by this guy named Trent, and we rode the bus together. So what he would do was put gum in my hair, which sucked because then I'd have to shave my head to get the gum out, and then everybody would laugh at me and say, ha ha, baldy, and also tiny, you know, because they remembered from when I got pants and the whole thing with the wasps. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So what I did was I put gum in his hair, and he had to shave his head. And then the next day, he got hit by a car, and I felt kind of bad. So I went to visit him in the ICU, and I walked in when they were changing his body cast, and he was packing. I mean, all of the nurses wanted to help him. So the moral of this story is, you should push Jeffy in front of a car. No, 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 don't. Oh, man. I'll, I'll admit, I, I, I'm not the right guy for this. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. No, no, no. Let me just talk to him, and I'll explain to him why bullying people is wrong. Oh, okay. Hey, champ, what are you doing? Writing hate comments on SML videos. Oh, but they work so hard. But they won't bring back their plushies. Oh, well, they can't do that. Uh, look, I wanted to talk to you about something. What do you want, loser? Oh, okay, so you're already starting with the name calling. Now, I know the only reason you're doing that is because you're just lashing out because you don't know how else to express yourself. Well, you're ugly. Okay, that one kind of hurt a little bit. But look, what I wanted to say is that... But I used to be just like you. I, I mean, I wasn't cross-eyed like that, but I, I did get bullied a lot. You did? Oh yeah, I get bullied all the time. And you know how I got over it? I found out that everybody was packing. Uh, I don't really know why. But then, when I grew up, I became a cop, so I can bully whoever I want. It's my job to bully people. You going too fast? Boom! Speeding ticket. Speeding tickets are my swirlies. So wh what I'm trying to say is I know that deep down, you know that bullying is wrong, right? <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Oh no, he did it to you too? Yeah, the only thing I learned here is I gotta start wiping better. Well, what do we do now, officer? Yeah, what do we do? I don't know. He's probably just going through a phase. I'm sure he'll grow out of it. Or he'll end up in prison. He might be packing. I don't know. I'm just gonna go. No, don't go. We need your help. We really need your help. Well, I've done everything I can do, and I don't want my face to end up in your toilet again. Look, I have an idea that'll, that'll get him to stop bullying people. What, really? Yeah, let me show you. Well, I won't be able to see it, because I got underwear in my eyes. Oh. 
thank you, but I would wash my hands if I were you. All right, we're all gonna wear these shirts, and when Jeffy sees them, he's gonna bully us for wearing these shirts, and he's gonna realize he's became what he hated most, being a bully. I hate this shirt. I look like a dingus. Aw, it's cute. Hanging with mommy. I hate my mother. I would never hang with her. I also hate sloths. They're all lanky and they're creepy and I hate them. Look, you only have to wear the shirt for like a few minutes for Jeffy to see you. Yeah, so he can make fun of us and then shove my face in the toilet again and then put my poopy underwear in my face? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. No, he's gonna realize that he's a bully and he's not gonna want to be a bully anymore. Jeffy, get in here! What do you losers want? Don't hurt me! Oh god, no, please! Well, just, just, Jeffy, look at our shirts! Look at our shirts! Turtly cool? That's retarded. Well, look, Jeffy, look. You just bullied me the same way you used to get bullied in school. <gasps> You're right. What have I become? I've become the same thing I swore to destroy. I'm like Darth Vader. Diaper. Diaper. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't want to be a bully. I was just tired of people bullying me. It's okay, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, as long as you promise you won't bully anyone ever again. Yeah, Daddy, I won't bully anyone ever again. <laughs> I bet you're not even packing. Oh, no, I totally am. I got a wiener like a Coke can. Damn it. So for your homework this weekend, you have to write a 1,000 word essay on why the sky is blue and turn it in Monday. And if you don't, you fail. Ugh, a thousand word essay? That's gonna take forever. I don't think it's enough. Can you make it 2,000 words? Shut up, Cody. Ugh. Good thinking, Cody. Now you all have to write a 2,000 word essay. Wow, look what you did, Come Cody. Come on, Cody, you stupid nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah you nerd. Ah, all right, Crass, I'll see you Monday morning. Make sure to do your essay and don't get distracted. Hey, Joseph, you want to come over to my house and play Fortnite? No, dude, I gotta write the essay. You're actually gonna write that essay? Yeah, I don't want to fail. Oh, hey, Cody, you want to come over to my house and play Fortnite? Uh, yeah, sure, right after I get back from the hospital and write my essay. You both are gonna write the essay? I guess I'll write my essay, too, so come over after you're done. Get wrecked, noobs. Hey, Junior. What's up, dude? Hey, guys, I haven't seen you all weekend. What were you doing? Oh, we just finished writing our essay. Yeah, it took forever. It really took that long? Oh, yeah, it took all night Friday and all day Saturday, and I just finished this morning. Yeah, my hand's still cramping. That's crazy. Well, did you write your essay? Uh, not yet. Wh what do you mean you didn't write your essay? I've been playing Fortnite. They got rid of building. What? That's stupid. Well, you're gonna fail. I'm not gonna fail. Look, I was gonna write my essay tonight. Well, Junior, you can't write it tonight. That's impossible. It's too long. Oh, no, no, no. I can write it tonight. I just trust me, guys. Don't worry about me. Well, we were gonna invite you to throw up land so that you could ride the hurl a whirl with us, but now I don't know if you have time. I wanna ride the hurl a whirl! Dude, you can throw up six times for one ride! Oh, I'm totally going. I'm going with you guys. But, Junior, what about your essay? <sighs> I guess you're right. I guess I should be responsible and stay home and write my essay. I had so much fun. Yeah, my stomach's completely empty from throwing up. Oh, totally, dude. All right, guys, I think it's time for me to be responsible and write my essay. Okay, Junior. Come on, Joseph, we have to leave now if we want to make the movie. Oh, dude, I totally forgot. Oh, what movie? We're going to go see the new Batman. What? I want to go see the new Batman. But you can't, Junior. It's three hours long. You don't have time. What? Yeah, dude. I have time. Guys, 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 how about I write my essay after the movie? Junior, you're not going to have time. Yeah, you're <laughs> pushing it, bro. Guys, let me worry about my problems. I want to go see the new Batman, I gotta defend Gotham! <laughs> Ow! That's what Batman does. Hey, yeah, I guess. Look, guys, let's go see this movie! Okay. Oh, dude, I can't wait to watch this movie. Yeah, me too. Cody, I can't believe you spent $50 on popcorn. Ugh, I know. The prices at movie theaters are insane. But I wanted something salty in my mouth, and Ken's not here. Well, guess what, guys? I snuck in snacks. What? Junior, you snuck in snacks? That's illegal! Dude, you could go to jail for like five years for that! Well, guys, no one's gonna notice. Look, let's just watch the movie. <sighs> Ugh, thank God this movie's over. Jesus, that movie was way too long. I'm more of a Spider-Man guy myself. And guess what, guys? I didn't get caught with my snacks. Hey, are those snacks we don't sell here? Ah, it's the boss! Yeah. Uh, officer, uh, you do sell these snacks here. No, I know what snacks we sell, and they're very expensive. You're going to jail for sneaking in snacks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Pooby's courtroom, where you're always guilty till proven innocent. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Boober. Today, Junior, you are being accused of a most heinous crime, sneaking gummy worms into a movie theater. 
I hereby set your bail at two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty dollars? Let's go, punk. Uh. Get in there, you snack sneaker. I can't go to jail. I have an essay. I don't care who your amigo is. Maybe if you're such good friends, he can bail you out. What? Hey, yeah, cupcake. What's up, sweet stuff? Oh, uh, what are you guys in here for? Like, snap the guy's neck in that. But look at everybody. Yeah, I killed 17 kids with my bare hands. <laughs> so what you in here for? Uh, I snuck snacks into a movie theater. Ah, get away from me, you boy! It's a killer, get out! Go! 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 What's going on in here? You didn't know you put us in the cell with the monster? Yeah, if he can sneak candy into a movie theater, he can sneak anything in here. Get him away! Alright, we're gonna have to put you in your own cell. Well, I didn't do anything wrong! See, that's how psycho you are. You don't even see that it's wrong. Come on! <sighs> Alright, now stay in there and don't cause any trouble. Or sneak in any snacks. Oh yeah, and you have some visitors. Visitors? Junior! Hey, dude. Look, guys, you have to get me out of here. I have to write my essay. It's not looking too good, dude. You're facing five years! I told you not to sneak in those snacks. Guys, please bail me out! Junior, your bail is the cost of a large popcorn and a drink. Dude, that's like 250 bucks! Cody, please bail me out! Junior, that's all the money I have! Please, I'll do anything. I'll pay you back, please! <sighs> okay, fine, but the bailout process is gonna take a few hours, so just find something to do. Okay. <sighs> what am I gonna do for a few hours? Hey there, you look cute. Uh, back away from me! I just saw the new Batman movie and I know all his moves! I just wanna be your friend. I am vengeance! <clears throat> All right, you monster, you somehow made bail. I did? Yeah, but you're banned from every movie theater, so I hope it was worth it. Well, just let me out of here. Thanks for bailing me out, Cody. You owe me $250. All right, guys, I have to focus. I have to write this essay. Well, you better hurry, because it's already 9 p.m., and you have to have the essay done before school tomorrow morning. Look, nothing else is going to distract me. All I'm going to do is this essay. You better, dude. Uh oh Oh, my mom texted me. I didn't know elephants could use a phone. <laughs> oh my god, guys, 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 guys! She ran out of peanuts? She lost weight? No, my Lego Titanic set came in. What, Lego Titanic? Yeah, it's a Lego replica of the Titanic. But that's so cool! I'll go get it. <laughs> whoa! Damn right, whoa. It's 9,000 pieces of pure Lego. This is so cool! Dude, I gotta build this! Well, let's go build it downstairs, Joseph. We don't want to distract Junior. Okay, dude! Wait, no, no, guys, I want to help build it! No, Junior, you have to write your essay. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll write it as soon as we get done building this. No, Junior, this is going to take hours to build. Not if all three of us work on it. It won't take that long. No, you're going to fail. Did the Titanic fail? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm not the Titanic. I'm not going to fail. I'm not going to run into an iceberg. Guys, I'm going to help build this. Come on, let's go downstairs. <sighs> All right, guys, look at all these pieces. Dude, there's so many pieces. How many do you think there are? I think there's 9,090. Wait, you counted them already? Wait, no, it says it right on the box. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, I thought you were one of those nerds. I mean, you are, but... Oh, yeah, Cody, you are a nerd. What, okay, guys, what I think we should do is I'll build this part, you build that part, and Joseph can build that part. Okay, dude, I'm about to get on it. Yeah, I'll build my part. Junior, I really think you should start writing your essay. I really think your mom should lose weight. But, okay, okay, fine. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, let's build. <laughs> And done. Well, guys, we did it. We built the whole Titanic. It only took us six hours. And hey, look, if you look in this window, you can see Leonardo DiCaprio banging Kate Winslet in the back of that car. The amount of detail they put in this thing. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep, guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a quick nap. No, Junior, you have to write your essay. Oh my god, my essay! I totally forgot! Okay, I'm gonna drink an energy drink, and I'm gonna get it done tonight. Good luck, Junior. I'm, I'm gonna good. go to sleep on your table. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, I just drank 300 drinks. I'm ready to stay up all night and write this essay. Nothing's gonna distract me. Okay, so, why is the sky blue? Well, uh, wait, wait, wait. Penelope's calling me. Why is she calling me at 3 a.m.? It must be an emergency. Hello? Hey, Junior. Me and my boyfriend just broke up. Do you have time to talk? <sighs> yeah, I'm not busy. Good. I want to tell you about every problem that me and my boyfriend ever had. He was so mean, but he was so Yeah, that sucks that you and him broke up. Junior, were you even listening to me? Of course I was listening to everything you said. Oh, yeah? Then why did me and my boyfriend break up? Uh, because you have crooked toes. Oh, now I have to start from the very beginning. Oh, no, please. It all started a couple years ago in the hallway by uh, the bathrooms. He came out the door. Oh, uh, my like phone's dying. Oh, Jesus. What time is it?
Go! Oh, it's 5 a.m. Oh no! School starts in a few hours. I haven't even started my essay. Oh, I should have gotten distracted. Okay, okay. I can just hire a company to write the essay for me. Here, here. I'm gonna call a company to write it for me. Hey, yeah, Ben J Ho. Heard you needed an essay. <laughs> get it? It's a Spanish joke. Yeah, I get it. Look, I need you to write me an essay. It's due in three hours. Oh well, here at Big Search Computer Repair Services and Essay Writing Services. We can do that for you. So what's the essay about? Oh, I need you to write a 2,000 word essay on why the sky is blue. <laughs> That's easy. You see, the sky is blue because different colors are diffused by nitrogen and oxygen. But blue is the shortest wavelength of all of them, so it's diffused up to 10 times more, and that's why the sky is blue. Okay, that's really interesting, but I need you to write it on the piece of paper, and I need you to write 2,000 words and stretch it out. Oh, I'm really good at stretching things out. That's my mom. I was almost a C-section, but she's built like a tank. Okay, well, look, just get to writing, please. Oh, can I type it instead? I'm way better on computer. Yeah, type it. Do whatever you want. Just get it done, please. What font do you want? You trying to go old school, get a little Times New Roman? Or maybe you're trying to get naughty. Maybe write it in Helvetica. Helvetica's a freak. I guess Helvetica. Just get it done, please. Okay. Yeah, I can't do that. Give me, give me like an hour. Okay, go, go, go. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Here is your 2,000 word essay on why the sky is blue. And as you can see, I stretch it out real good. The sky is very, 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 very blue. This is perfect! Oh my god, I'm gonna pass! You saved my life! It's what I do. Oh, I gotta go turn this into the teacher. Wait! How are you gonna pay me? Oh, I really should start charging for my services up front. Whoa, Junior, you actually finished your essay? Yeah, I got it done. At least you won't fail, dude. Yeah, I'm so happy that I got it done. Wait, where's Penelope? Oh, she's probably too depressed to come to school. She called me and said her boyfriend broke up with her. But where's everyone else? Yeah, where, where's the teacher? But, uh, Junior, Joseph, Cody, what are you doing here? It's spring break. You're not supposed to come to school till next Monday. Spring break? Oh, we had a whole week to write this essay. Well, in that case, you should have just given us 4,000 words. Where are Cody, stop! stop! <laughs> So tonight, you're going to be doing a craft film project. Each of you is going to make a one minute movie about whatever you want. And whoever has the most amazing movie is going to win an Oscar. An Oscar? I've always wanted to win an Oscar. You know, I'm a natural born actor. Dude, you're a natural born dork. Yeah, Cody, the only Oscar you're ever going to win is an Oscar Mayer wiener in your mouth. <laughs> well, that's just as good. I'm going to make an art film. Well, no, Penelope, I need you to be in my film. I'm going to remake Shrek and I want you to play Fiona as an ogre. Not, not the normal girl part. I have someone for that. Shut up! Junior? All right, Crass. So go home and try to get your movie done so you can win this award. What's your film going to be about, Junior? Probably dinosaurs. What's your film going to be about? Mm, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe something hot and romantic. Do you think he'll let me do nudity? Probably not. I'd have to charge for that. What's your movie going to be about, Joseph? I'm not going to tell you guys. You're going to steal my ideas. Well, I'm going to make the best film ever. No. -uh. Yeah, uh, no, 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 I'm going to win the Oscar. Whoever wins the Oscar is the coolest kid ever. Okay, what kind of movie should I make? Ooh, I know. I can make an animated movie about a girl starting her period, and every time she has period cramps, she turns into a panda bear. Oh, wait, Pixar already did that. Hey, Junior, I just came to tell you that my movie's gonna be better than yours, so eh. Well, no, my movie's gonna be better than yours. Hey, guys, I want you to meet Chris Sockford and Saksha. Why do you have sock puppets? Because I'm making a sock puppet movie. That's so lame, Joseph. No one's ever gonna watch something with puppets in it. Yeah, nobody likes puppets, Joseph. That'll never take off. You have a better chance shaking a stuffed animal and making it talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll show you when you guys lose and I'm the winner. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. My movie's gonna be better. Uh, Junior, I need the Lego Titanic. I mean, I don't know why I'm asking you. It's mine. I just left it here after we built it. Well, go take it then. Get out of my house. You're distracting me from making a movie. Okay, I gotta think of something that's genius. Hey, guys. You're looking at an Oscar winner because I made the hottest, steamiest movie of all time. Well, Cody, my movie's better. I have so much action and destruction in it. It's gonna be so crazy. Yeah, does your movie have you getting slammed up against a foggy car window? No. That's what I thought. Dude, my sock puppet movie is so awesome, it's top tier. It's gonna knock your socks off. Well, we know he's not winning. No one wants to watch a sock movie. But dude, it has so much drama in it. It's like a Lifetime movie. All right, Crass. So today, you're gonna be presenting your Crass film project. And remember, the best film is gonna win this Oscar. So who wants to go first? Oh, teacher chose me! Me, 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 me! 
I want to suck it to him and show him what a real movie looks like. All right, Joseph, come up here and show us your film. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, prepare to have your hearts broken when you watch this real life movie based on a true story called My Life Sucks. Honey, I'm home. <gasps> oh, honey, you're home early. I thought you had to work late. <laughs> Socksha, you're cheating on me with this black sock? No, Chris Sockfer, it's not what you think. He kidnapped me. I have sock home syndrome. I'm not falling for that again. Yeah, I'm a sock, but I wasn't bought yesterday. You're a socky excuse of a woman. You think I'm a walk in here while you're socking another man to be okay with it? Yeah, I'm not Will Smith, lady, okay? Pack all your shoes and get out. No, baby, please don't leave. You're an ankle sock and he's a tube sock. I couldn't help myself. I'm so socky. <laughs> My wife cheated on me. It's time to end it all. <laughs> Isn't it so sad? See, my movie didn't have a happy ending because real life doesn't have happy endings. <laughs> okay, Joseph. Very good. Go sit down. All right, Jeffy, you're next. All right. So my movie's called Fruit Party 4, and if this one does good, I'll make the first three like Star Wars. Do, 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 I'm a happy strawberry. Hey, Mr. Banana, what doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just mad because I'm a banana and not a happy strawberry. Oh, don't be mad, Mr. Banana. I bet you please all the girls because you're a banana. No, nobody wants me because I have a bruise on me. Hey, it's me. I'm a pineapple. Sup? Oh, great. It's Mr. Pineapple, the coolest fruit in the world. Yeah, it's me. What are you bozos doing? Well, I'm being a happy strawberry. Nothing can ruin this day. My day's always ruined. I'm a bruised banana. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow, Jeffy. How graphic. Go sit out. All right, Penelope, you're next. Um, I kind of don't want to show mine. I didn't get to finish it. Penelope, you come up here and present or you fail. Okay, fine. But Penelope, why don't you want to show it? Is it just a video of you just eating food for five hours because you're fat? Shut up, Junior. Uh, so all I want to say is that my dad walked in on me while I was making it and it's really embarrassing. So here. Oh, Justin, mi amor, I know we just met, but I feel like we are soulmates. You want me to stay here in Paris with you? But my flight takes off in five minutes, and you know I have to see my dying aunt who would never allow this to happen. Maybe we'll meet in another life. What's that? One more kiss? All right. Penelope, what are you doing? Dad, what are you doing? Get out. I'm making a movie. What? You're making a movie? Oh, God, no. I failed as a parent. My daughter feels like she has to make movies like this. Dad, get out. You're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing the whole family with what you're doing here with this picture. All right, that's it. I am not going to allow you to make these kinds of movies. All right, you're going to boarding school. Oh, that was so embarrassing. Boo, trash. Shut up, Junior. I mean, he is right, Penelope. It is embarrassing. Go sit down. <sighs> Cody, you're next. Oh, yeah. Get ready to watch a cinematic masterpiece. Uh, okay, everybody, prepare to cream your panties because you're going to watch the biggest, hottest movie of the summer. I remade Titanic, and I call it Titanic. I don't want to be with you, Cal. I don't even care about your money. I'd rather be with someone hotter but poor. Hey, Ken. I changed my mind. I want to be with you. What's that? Step up on the ledge. But what if I fall? I'm flying! I'm flying, Ken! <laughs> I'm flying! Draw me like one of your French boys, Ken. Uh, oh, well, I'll, I'll be honest, it's not really your best work. I mean, I mean, my abs are way bigger in real life, and you can't even see my junk. I'm gonna have to move this blanket. Uh, okay, draw me again. Let's take another crack at this. Put your hands on me, Ken. Oh no, Ken, we just hit a bag of ice. Now the ship is sinking, and the lifeboats are all full. We're gonna have to jump in the water. Yeah. Oh, Ken, I'm so cold. I mean, I'm sure you're colder, because you're in the water, and I'm not. I, I would let you get on my door, but there's just not enough room. Oh, Ken. 
Ken, oh, it's so cold. Ugh. I'll never let go, Ken. I'll never let go. Whoa, oh, oh no, I let go. Ken, I'm sorry, I'm just so cold. No! Yeah! That was 80 years ago, and it was the sexiest, hunkiest experience of my life. Thousands of people died, but that pipe was legendary. Huh? Huh? How hot was that shit, huh? Very good, Cody. Now go sit down. Junior, you're next. Yeah, Junior. Let's see if your movie's as hot as mine. All right, guys. Prepare to watch a real movie that has destruction and death. I call it Doomsday in Townsville. In the city of Townsville, the Powerpuff Girls are on vacation, so the city is defenseless. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm was Cody's mom, big fat ugly pig, with a I'm a fat dare and an ugly stinky pig, ugly fat fatty fat fatty fatty fat fat, old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, oh no, is that a dinosaur? I came back from extinction to destroy your city! Round, 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 crash, 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 crash! Oh no! My son works in that building! He's probably dead! Oh, he's super dead! Round, 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 crash, 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 crash! Oh, well, whatever you do, please don't eat my dog! Oh, I would never eat your dog! Oh, you promise? No! Your dog, I'm dead, die! Ah, no, my dog! Well, whatever you do, don't eat Cody's mom! What? Cody's mom? Oh, I didn't know you had her. Oh, she's so fat and ugly. I'm gonna eat her. No! I'm fat Cody's mom. Do you see that, Cody? Your fat mom's getting eaten. I'm fat Cody's mom. Oh, no! Oh, man. Am I so full from eating Cody's big fat mom? If all, Honestly, if I would've ate her in the beginning, I wouldn't have destroyed your city. Well, get out of here before I call the cops. Woo! Oh, no, the cops. I have a record. I gotta get out of here. Oh man, what could make this day any worse? Well, at least there's not giant tarantulas trying to eat me. Oh, well do I have bad news for you. When I was trying to leave the town, giant tarantulas were coming this way. Well, I'll pay you anything if you can save me. Okay, I'll try to defeat them. Oh no, the giant tarantulas are coming. Oh no, the giant tarantulas coming across the bridge. He's gonna try to eat me. Ah, oh, cops! Come help me! Woo! We're blocked! We can't, there's a train! We can't get past the train! Well, save me! He's gonna eat me! Oh no! He's coming right towards me! I'm dead. The end. So, guys, what'd you think of the movie, huh? Hey, Cody, did you see your mom in the movie? How she's a big, fat, ugly pig? Uh oh, here comes Cody! Wait, 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 wait. Cody just slapped the shit out of me! Keep my mom's name out your fucking mouth! It was a your mom's a pig joke! Keep my mom's name out your fucking mouth! Okay, I will! Alright, Junior, go sit down. And the winner of the Oscar is... Cody! I won! I actually won an Oscar! Oh, oh, I, I, uh, this is kind of awkward, because I, I just embarrassed myself in front of everyone, but I won! Oh my god, really? Oh, thank you. I, I just want to start off by saying I'm sorry, teacher, for slapping someone in your class. You know, love makes you do crazy things, but I, I hope you invite me back. I, oh, man, I just, I, I deserve this award so much. My movie was so good. Oh, thank you all, except for Junior.